It's the Bob and Tom Show. I got a gal with just one eye. <laughs> yeah. No depth of field, but sweet as pie. <laughs> And I just don't carry on If a vision isn't stereo <laughs> To me she'll always be the tops My sweet little psychologist She's the one I, one I, one I She's the one I, one I love She's the one I, one I, one I She's the one I, one I love Now you might wonder what she's thinking Cause it looks like she's winking <laughs> In arguments I yell and cry But you just can't see the other side <laughs> It's worse than it looks, says her mother Cause she's blind in one eye, blonde in the other Well, she's the one I, one eye, one eye She's the one I, one I love She's the one I, one I, one I She's the one I, one I love Now how it happens, she just won't spill Was it Scissor Sprint or William Tell? <laughs> out and was never found Gone to take a look around <laughs> My Colombo cutie pop pop punky <laughs> Sammy Junior Sandy Duncan oh, She's the one I one I one I She's the one I one I love She's the one I one I one I She's the one I one I love She's the one I one I one I She's the one I one I love Hey hello How are you? The party's still rolling man Hey, it's always a party here at the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. Christy Lee at the news desk. Bob Hello. And Tom. Cool sw uh, Bob scarf. And Tom. Yeah, thanks. Tom got this for me. No kidding. Oh, is that his face on that? I think that's mine, actually. Oh, right that's there. your lips. Yeah. Okay. No, I, a very nice friend. I take it all back. I didn't <laughs> get a scarf. You got a tie, you didn't you? You got a tie. Oh, that's right. I got two of them. One to wipe my... <laughs> <laughs> There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick McGee. Hey there, Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick, and here's my buddy Tom. Well, just don't hang yourself with it. That'd be awkward. No, I won't. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just saying. He's, he's going to wipe... Am I the only one who will every now and then go on YouTube and... Uh, and, uh, don't even say it. Don't, don't say it. Don't, learn don't, how to tie a noose. And, no, uh, no, no, no. It's actually kind of magical. It's really like a magician's trick how a noose works. Mm. Oh, it tightens up when it has to. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Can we talk about anything okay, else? It <laughs> slides along. Uh, yeah, great. We have... Um, we have uh, a number of interesting things to uh, pursue today, uh, including uh, uh, cats in the news. That's right, little kitty cats um, uh, that are somehow associated with Valentine's Day. We have... Um, of course, Taylor Swift and the NFL. Oh yeah, yeah. shaking Still hands, rolling right along. Yeah, we got that. Uh, we got that coming up. It's, it's always a the, the two week build up to the Super Bowl. It's, there's going to be yeah. There's not a lot going on right now, and there's only one. What is it? They they've changed the media week where like it used to be a big damn deal all day long for two days. Like one team would be Tuesday, and the next team, the other team would be Wednesday all day long, and now it's just in the evening for two hours. Both teams, everybody's everywhere, and it's kind of a cluster. F uh, you know what I'm saying? For the uh, media, yeah, for the okay. media, yeah. Well, um, I, if nothing else, this is going to uh, teach a lot of young people about the international dateline. 
Yeah. Oh, because she's uh, t- Taylor's in the uh, whole thing about uh, the t- the Tokyo, the Tokyo, and flying backwards in time. It's very confusing. But apparently she she could make it if she decides to go. She is going to be able to make it. She will uh, land in Vegas. Uh, the night before. The night before. 25 hours before kickoff. Saturday night. Yeah. You she know she'll be there. Back oh. there provided, I mean, provided, though, she can, you know, Uber, you she'll know. have to schlep her luggage to yeah. the airport and stuff, you know. And, and as, wait, as Pat the said, what's going to be the big problem getting in the Putting plane? Putting the guitar in the overhead. Yeah, that's yeah. always yeah. difficult. That Do people there. complain about that, Pat? All the time. All yeah. the time. You're taking up all this space. Don't you have a travel guitar specifically for travel? I have or? a smaller one, a yeah. smaller Taylor I use, Taylor mm-hmm. guitar. Not Taylor Swift. No, not okay. Taylor. Swift. Okay, well, very much. Not, not named after her. Name. Okay, good. And we're going to get. We're going to be up to our necks in this, as if we're not already. Uh, ahead of the Super Bowl, American Airlines has named its flights from Kansas City to Las Vegas after Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Following the Chiefs' win over the Ravens on Sunday, online users noticed a flight number from Kansas City to Vegas named AA nineteen eighty nine. One of Tay Tay's albums, of course, a reference to uh, Swift's. And uh, then two Swift themed flights will depart on February 9th and 10th at 12 30 p.m. Also, a flight return number is now AA87. That's, uh, that's Travis's uh, jersey number. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the airline said, We are in our football era and we are all thrilled to provide additional direct flights from Kansas City to Vegas, baby, Vegas. To our customers who are huge sports fans, look what you made us do. Another flight. That's that's one of her songs. Is that one of her songs? I yeah, look what you is. made me do. Look what yeah. you made me do. Another flight, AA-15, is named after, uh, shut up, chick. Uh, Patrick Mahomes' jersey ah. is, number, is uh, number 15, oh. not the average age. Of- yeah. Well, they did that for Gronk. They did AA-69-69. As you recall, uh, remember Gronk got all. <laughs> Isn't Gronk's the, the legend that he he uh, scored sixty nine points in a game and stopped because uh, high school basketball? I think. right? Yeah, wasn't it something yeah, like the, that? Yeah, there was a, there was a big Gronk sixty nine thing. Yeah, he loves the sixty nine. Yeah. And then explain to me. Picks, I bet he picks him up, Josh. Don't you think? The sixty nine standing. Oh, oh yeah, I, he's done that standing yeah. sixty nine. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Do, I, do I have your attention, Christy? Wait a minute, that would be. Oh, that's done. Yeah, It'd be distracting, sure, wouldn't it? Standing. Would it be confusing for you? So yeah. All the blood, all the blood, blood rushing, rushing to, to your head. head. Yeah. You'll be all right. A You're, a tiny, to... <laughs> You're a tiny little thing. <laughs> and now here's to drunk to go over. Right? You'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so many of these uh, so-called positions are so ridiculous. Uh, the, 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 what is oh, the you most? You don't have a comma sutra next to your bed. Yeah. What's the most out of the ordinary position you've ever? <laughs> <laughs> you just gave me a look. <laughs> We're all waiting. I, uh, I would never discuss such a matter. Well, why not? Uh, Gentlemen, we'll don't discuss here. such things. Gronk, on the other hand, would you? Uh, by the way, explain to me the kick thing. I don't understand it. Oh, is this he's the, kicking? The and you huge can bet build on it, up. You can and, make it. Uh, here's Ace. This is a junk. It's, uh, what is it? Apollo Creed? Is that? Yeah, he is? missed it last year. right? It's a yeah. junk yeah. event. Yeah, he missed it last. But, year. but you can good actually good. legit yeah. bet on it on all the uh, betting sites. Whether he's going to make it or not. Whether he's going to make it. It's or sponsored or not. by one of the betting yeah. sites, yeah. and it is sponsored by one of the sites. Is that actor? Is that the Apollo Creed guy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's in a commercial. He picks him up in the he picks Gronk up in the desert. The implication is after missing last year, he wandered into the desert. I'm not sure how far they want to take the, the idea of the concept wandering in the desert. Uh, and, then, yeah. and then Carl Weathers and then Carl Weathers picks pulls him up, up and come on, we got a kick to make or whatever. Huh. And it's now, well, Carl was Carl. a legit uh, NFL player, right? Yeah, I think he played for the Raiders. Uh, Raiders, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was okay. a defensive back. I thought. Okay. Um, uh, so in any event, yeah, I, I kind of ha- wasn't really paying attention to the commercial, but I, yeah. it, uh, the production values are amazing. They're making a very big deal out of it. Big damn deal. And will, and will that actually... Uh, I don't know when it's... It, it's got to be sometime during the six-hour pregame or whatever they're doing this year. Okay, but does it take place in real time? I th- it, it must to I be see, able, yeah, to, to, be be able to bet on it. Okay. It, it. Yeah, to be able to bet on it. Yeah. Okay, all right, very good. Um, uh, what else? Can, give me a couple little sports previews. Uh, well, uh, tickets, as you might imagine, for uh, the Super Bowl. Uh, if you want to go, uh, just stay home and be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have, you know, twenty five thousand dollars, you don't you don't care about, or or you're a big fan of either team. I guess you have to wonder how many people from say Detroit 
had already made reservations and were planning on. Well, what that, about the guy with the tattoo? What's he I was doing? just going to oh, say that. No, no, I was just going to say that. It, it's a beautiful tattoo, but it says 2024. It's the Super Bowl. It's the yeah. Lombardi Trophy. And it says Detroit Lions, world champs. That was right on uh, his, uh, his bicep. Show up on some starving kid in I, Africa. His no, tattoo? it's a tattoo. It's a tattoo, Tom. What are you gonna, well, they don't skin people anymore. <laughs> anymore. Stop that. This isn't Silence of the Lambs. I'm just saying. <laughs> reference to the fact well, that I'm sure he, that I think they I, probably they probably printed you know whatever two thousand T-shirts that said you know and division uh, champion among Detroit the Lions. many uh, in, I just keep noticing how old I am over and over again those hats that they had for the championship for uh, th those are without a doubt the ugliest baseball caps I've ever seen in my life oh they're I don't like the really busy you know, just do the logo and champs. That what? But it's a uh, it, there's a background and it's three D with glowing paint. And it's, <laughs> oh. ugh. Okay. Anyway, what else do we have? Uh, I don't know. We had college basketball last night, Tom. How about that? No, we have a, we have a couple um, of genuinely dumb world records. No, it, it, I say it every morning. The dumbest. I, I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I said to myself, "This can't be what I'm thinking it is," and yeah. it is. Yeah. It, and it's a world record. It's genuinely, we got a, a really cool mystery that may have been solved. One of the biggest mysteries of the 20th century. Scooby Doo Mister. Hmm. Uh, really cool story coming up. Right, right. And uh, maybe some positive news about tobacco. Hmm. Of all things in the news. Isn't there something tobacco does that's good for you? Isn't there anything that well, can you, be said? If you raise it, oh, raise it, mood, farm it, mood you elevation. Make, make it, a living. It um, suppresses your appetite. Look at all the models. Smoking. I've heard that tobacco is the only drug that if you need to relax, it will relax you. If you need to wake up and get going, it will do that. Hmm. Oh, that was from the the R.J. Reynolds uh, scientific research. That's right, <laughs> Joe Campbell. Told uh, yeah, okay. well, the RJ, that's that's RJR Institute. That's very accurate. I'm not sure who funded uh, it. Also, we've got baby names in the news. And uh, right now, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's a common misconception about relationships that they have to be easy in order to be right. Sometimes the best ones happen when both people put work into them. You know what I'm talking about. And so far, 2024 going great. And uh, let's keep it going great. Keep your relationship great and have a good relationship with yourself. That's where therapy comes in. And BetterHelp has a better way to access therapy. It's really kind of a uh, I, one, one of the first ways of just taking advantage of contemporary technology. We are all carrying around those uh, phones that are actually very nice computers. And how does it work with BetterHelp? Well, you fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with one of 25,000 licensed therapists. And by the way, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. And then uh, the therapy itself is then done online. So uh, it's much more convenient, uh, very flexible, and it's suited to your schedule. You don't have to get in the car, drive somewhere, sit in the lobby, look around thinking, oh, what's wrong with that guy? No, uh, it's uh, much, much easier because it's done. Uh, and you can do it, by the way, like a Zoom call or like a telephone call or even texting back and forth to, um, to communicate to the therapist. So find out the details and become your own soulmate. Um, whether you're looking for another soulmate or not, visit betterhelp.com slash BT show today to get 10% knocked off your first month. Remember that slash BT show part. Betterhelp, H E L P, betterhelp.com slash BT show. And this portion of the Bob and Tom Show, sponsored by BetterHelp. Also, coming up, we have a um, multilinguist. Well, that's oh. that. And um, did you see oh. what happened to the Mona Lisa? Yeah. A yeah, multilinguist, is that anything to do with a cunning linguist? No, 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 no. Sure? Uh, yeah, uh, they must we, be cunning if they don't. We know. have, yeah, uh, think, yeah. excuse me, uh, we, have, uh, <laughs> we have languages in the news, linguist, okay. uh, coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Essential Morning Radio. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time.
<laughs> Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package. So try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Story out of Japan you about, started. <laughs> about a product that uh, they sell. Um, these they're called panty scrunchies. Right. Here's the story. Um, it's in Japanese. Apparently, it's pantsu sushu or shushu s h u s h u, and which translates according to this news account as panty scrunchies. They're tiny panties that, when tied, they turn into scrunchies. And according and, to this, they're just over six dollars American. And I looked at those online, mm-hmm. and I and I think I said even back a couple of weeks ago, I go, well, that's just like every other pair of thongs in my drawer. You could just make any pair of so if you were in a, in a pinch, a, a scrunchie in a pinch, if you needed to have a, a ponytail holder, I could grab a pair of. And as I point out, you'd be like a slutty magician all of a sudden. <laughs> You know, just a yeah. second, honey, I'm going to get a ponytail. You reach, you reach between your legs. <laughs> Woof. Ta-da. You're the slutty magician. And uh, you, these panties you are very head. large, though. Yeah, these are bigger no, These are not your panties. Can these I see are them? mine, actually. These are yours? Yes. Are they? they have look you sexy. worn those? They look good. I have never worn those. Well, you could, these would fall off. Yeah, they're... Um, they're one size fits all. Well, Thongs come at, one size fits all. They a lot. do. Yeah, they do. Unfortunately. Where do the legs go? These are confusing. That's me. oh, I see. Oh, I got it. Whoopsie. I got it. There we go. Never seen a pair. Mm, What's going not on? Like this. Not at this angle. Oh, I like those. They're very nice. Aren't yeah, they? yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're quite comfortable. Actually, <laughs> Josh, these might fit you. These oh. these are quite roomy. <laughs> well, hey, uh, <laughs> set yourself up for that one, pal. Didn't you? I'll, uh, <laughs> you want to try them on after I'm done putting them in try, my hair? Try. I'm game. You can. You can have them if you like. You could make these into a jaunty beret. eBay here. I Now you're handing out panties to guests? <laughs> All guests in the Bob and Tom yeah. show received monogram Bob and Tom. You can I do have that. Bob and Tom. I do have a well, Bob and Tom thong so in here. idea. These are, oh, you this are. is actually falling oh, off my head. Oh, yeah. Well, really you didn't something. scrunch it. Yeah, well, you you're didn't not before. making it a scrunchie. You're making it a beret. Look, That's this, totally this, different. I mean, there's room for. <laughs> Seriously. There's room for a <laughs> large woman. <laughs> a four yoker in there. Okay, make these into a scrunchie. They're one size fits all. I can't help that. His head did kind of look like an ass cheek while it was sticking out. Christy Lee now has her panties back. They're red, kind of frilly. Yeah, they're lace. They're reinforced in the appropriate areas where there might be, you know. All you do Okay, now Christy's making a ponytail. Christy has lovely hair. Now she's, you're going to have to like double that thing over like eight times. Right, that's my point. That's why the bigger ones, I mean the smaller Japanese panties would work better. Okay. But you could still make this work. I mean. I don't even think you would know that those were panties. Would you know? Turn around. Except for the smell. Except for the the smell you'd have. No. (laughs) Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you would never know. I said they were clean for God's sake. They've never been worn. But yeah, then it it just looks like a lace, like a lace scrunchie. Mm -hmm. It does look nice. Yeah, so, so this is a little trick now. If you're doing the walk of shame, ladies, you can uh, well, if tie you're your pre- hair back. Or if you're anticipating the walk of shame. See, oh, so is, you have an extra pair of panties yeah, with you. Yeah, see, this is uh, thinking ahead. So you right. pull your or if you back. have explosive diarrhea. That's true as well. <laughs> there we go. So I think you're going to need a backup pair. <laughs> usually take your panties off you know, usually before Usually women you have... just carry them in their purse, okay. but I, you know, I guess you could do that. It's I kind of cool. Cool. Yeah. Good, to, good to know. Mm-hmm. So anybody could do it. Uh-huh. And uh, so she's right, Chris. He's right. Any any panties will work. Well, almost. I don't know if granny panties would work. Oh, but true. The yeah. The smaller, yeah. the the little thong ones do. Well, good to know. Mm-hmm. That's a little. You should send that tip to Cosmo. <laughs> Dude, send him the video. We have a little mm-hmm. made a little video here of Christy putting on her panties on her head. I'm sure that was very exciting. Uh, so you need to use them as the hair tie before you use them as panties. I had it backwards. Yes, Tom. You don't use so, dirty panties as I a see. hair Did anybody else just see Christy shake her hair out yeah, like that? It was pretty that awesome. Slow-mo. It was pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow.
hardware store. See what Bob and Tom 24-7. It's not on air. It's online. Bob and Tom. Hello and welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. As we get ready for Super Bowl. Which is one of them? XVI. VX. I wonder who, who was in charge of We're going Roman numerals, people. I wonder, who, I wonder whose idea that was. Lamar Hunt. Don't care. You know, I, uh, Lamar Hunt's uh, wife was uh, worked at the stadium when the Chiefs, uh, and she worked at the uh, at the Lost and Found. Oh yeah, yeah. Or Helen, really? uh, Lamar's wife was. Helen. And if you lost something, you would uh, go to Helen Hunt for it. <laughs> so, uh, oh, there you go. Very good. Yeah, yeah. That's the, the first introductory joke uh, of the day. Uh, <laughs> it's kindergarten it's, joke. It's, yes. Thank yes. you very much. Um, uh, and uh, we're going to visit the sports page, uh, Patty G. Yes, sir. We haven't been hearing from you early in the show. This no, last we haven't. You want to hear from me? It doesn't seem like you've done anything. I kind of like it like this. Uh, uh, could we? Uh, is, I is, bet. Is, uh, what, uh, uh, well, yesterday. Your uh, Italian friend in there still? Uh, <laughs> he likes your Italian the, friend. I, I enjoyed that so much. Uh, oh, thank you. Our, 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 it's it's about the moon. It's This is fascinating oh. stuff. I know you guys don't like the science news as much as I do, but... Uh, Luigi! Uh, in uh, Luigi, uh, what is it, Cacciatore in... Uh, um, yeah, this is a fascinating story about the moon actually shrinking. Mm -hmm. Now, admittedly... That's what they say. It's, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Imperceptible, I guess? You can barely tell. Uh, yeah, that's the one I meant. Uh, it's, according to the scientists at the University of Maryland, the moon is uh, has shrunk 150 feet um, in several hundred million years. So that's, you know, not like... Like a school, like a foot a year or anything. It's <laughs> really kind of. Um, no, that would be silly. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, um, it, it, I think it's fascinating, though. Look like a cheese curd, not yeah, a man yeah, in and, the moon. And their analogy, they say, uh, it, the scientists compare it to a grape turning into a raisin, uh, <clears throat> although significantly slower. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, Luigi, you got a tribute to this? Yes, I'm looking for the lyrics. Hey, Luigi Accusatore here. How's everybody hey, doing? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Where's your what? girlfriend? She's right here. She's taking a nap. But oh, Gina, okay. Gina Statutory. I thought Gina she got Statutory. married. Isn't that's that why she's tired? Oh, okay. Did she, uh, it's called the honeymoon. Ah. Did she get a bottle before you put her down for a nap? Is that, is that <laughs> oh, my God. A, I give her a bottle of Dom, and she, she takes a little nap. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, that's, that's nice. nice. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> you love oh, her. That's nice. You got your accordion out? Put her in Venice. <laughs> oh, we're talking about the moon is shrinking. <laughs> when the moon is a shrinking, I must make a comment. When, I must, uh, mama, 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 when the moon shrinks so fast, is the universe gonna last? Oh, that's scary. Oh, this could be the end of the world. Yeah. I want to live a real long time. Became a vegan. I don't eat meat or a dairy. But back to the moon, it's shrinking like a prune. Maybe real soon we're all out of luck. <laughs> Look up in the sky, we all are gonna die like Bruce Willis says. Adios, mother. Mm. I can't say it. <laughs> oh, yes. Everybody have a great day. Gina, wake up. Okay, thank you, <laughs> Gina. Gina Statutori. Uh, such a pleasure. Now, let's uh, check in with Chick McGee at the uh, Bob and Tom uh, Sports Desk. Have you missed anything? Uh, it's the, uh, we're just starting. It's the time, it's that time of year. That's right. Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Kansas City Chiefs are heading to Las Vegas with a chance for a rare repeat while facing the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl rematch, rematch from four years ago. The Chiefs beat Lamar and the Ravens 17-10 on Sunday and Brock Purdy later rallied the number one uh, seeded 49ers 34-31 win over Detroit in uh, at uh, Levi Stadium, the NFC title game. The Chiefs will try to become the first back-to-back -back champions since New England during the 2003-2004 seasons. And the 49ers seek a record-tying sixth Super Bowl title in their eighth appear appearance. Now, San, Fr San Francisco's won six. Pittsburgh's won six. And uh, a little outfit called the Patriots is one, oh. one six. That's something Ooh. else, right? Very impressive. Man, oh, man. That's a lot of... Uh, and tickets on at least one secondary market are the most expensive in Super Bowl history. The prices underscore the anticipation of the Vegas debut between the Chiefs and, and the 49ers and... Travis and Taylor, Taylor Swift. Uh, she'll be on hand uh, February 11th. The average purchase price on something called Tick Pick, $9,815 yesterday morning. That's nearly double the final average price 
for last year's game between the Chiefs and the Eagles in Glendale. Current prices, of course, could decline or possibly rise before the game. Hmm. And here's Travis Kelsey. If you knew the Chiefs were going to win the division, let me hear you say, hell yeah! Hell yeah! That's last year from the uh, Super Bowl. Oh, oh okay. that's him? That's, that's Travis. Yeah, yeah he's, he's young. Sure. That's Travis Kelsey. Right? Yeah. If you knew the Chiefs what it says. were going to win the division, let what do you me think hear it you is? say, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Tom doesn't think it's a white guy. Yeah, that's what Tom's thinking. <laughs> I, right. I don't. Like Travis Kelsey. I, so I was so just good. having fun. People. I swear <laughs> yeah, I was. I know. <laughs> so he has to. Are yeah. you sure? <laughs> that's I, I, that went right I, over my I, head. Did, did I say anything? <laughs> you didn't have no, to. I, I said it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree with? <laughs> you know what? Let's uh, let's take a moment. <laughs> okay, I thought we would erase this thing. <laughs> Did we hear from Juice? <laughs> oh, boy, that is, that is a peppy pop song. Isn't it sure it? is. That is really. Yeah. Boy. Um, is way, going is. in the morning? No, uh, we were talking about the uh, the fact that uh, American Airlines has uh, redesignated the uh, flight numbers of the flights from Kansas City to Vegas, right. uh, assuming they'll be full of uh, fans uh, going to see the Super Bowl. There's flight 87 for Travis. There's flight 15 for Patrick Mahomes. There's uh, flight 1989 for Tay Tay. And I, I suggested that they, they did flight 6969 for Gronk. Um, I found the story. About the kick? Uh, no, no, about oh. Gronk's high school basketball coach, uh. Chuck Swirsky. Boy, that sounds like a. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Coach Swirsky. Yeah. Uh, at uh, Williamsville North High School in Buffalo, New York, Coach Swirsky says we were playing a home game. We had 68 points. Gronk gets fouled, goes to the free throw line, three, uh, the free throw line, hits the first one to get us to 69. The place goes nuts, <laughs> and then he purposely misses the next oh. one, so the score would stay 69. Legend, <laughs> absolute been on this legend. Early. <laughs> so uh, that's hilarious. I find it surprising that Gronk would. Uh, would be into uh, the standing. Why? 69. Well, I would think he would be, uh, you know, selfish. I wouldn't think he would give do anything for anybody else. But he, oh, I see what you just think. lay there. Find, find, a, find player. Yeah. These assumptions are not valid. You know, it'd be like uh, an amusement yeah. park ride. Just climb on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I see that. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Say, yeah, have a good time <laughs> until I tell you to get off, you know. Uh, like have you been or watching, until I do. <laughs> have you been watching Bronx uh, commentary? Uh, no, I haven't. I That's why... Uh, he's uh, he's on, on one of the... He's yeah. on Fox. Television teams. Uh, a good job, I think. He's doing an okay. Um, and, of course, he's got the big kick thing coming up again, which is somewhat of a mystery. No, if he makes the kick, you can bet if he makes the kick. Yeah. I don't know how far the field goal is. I thought that's what you were looking up over there. Well, no, I, I, I've got to find I know that I'm just confused. Can, can he do his... Uh, well, I guess he doesn't do his commentary because it's not on Fox. It's not on Fox. He has nothing to do with the okay, Super Bowl, okay. broadcasting the Super Bowl. Okay, so we'll we'll find out more for you. Uh, Gronkowski will attempt another field goal during Super Bowl 58 after failing miserably, it says here, uh, last year. Uh, Gronkowski attempted to make a field goal during a live commercial that aired for Super Bowl 57 last February. FanDuel promotion paid a share of $10 million to everyone who used the sports book to bet at least $5 on the Super Bowl. That was last year, though. All Gronk had to do was attempt the kick. And betters won last year. It's different this year. Uh, he he did not make it. He hooked the field goal left. Everyone got paid. Everyone was happy. There you go. And FanDuel announced uh, last week that they're going to be at Super Bowl 58 in Vegas to finish what Gronk started with the kick of destiny two. This time, though, betters get a free wager on whether he'll make or miss the field goal with the payout being split between whoever gets it right. Has he been pra practicing, you think? I, I I don't know. All I know is Carl Weathers is in the commercial huh. with him. This says 25-yard field goal. Mm -hmm. And uh, he he is dressed up as a homeless uh, man waiting for a ride in the desert. And uh, has, I think the term is man without housing. Man currently without housing. <laughs> he is the currently unhoused. Is it man yeah. or is it person? person currently Thank unhoused. You. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the politically correct. Yeah. It's, it's more important to get the. Uh, I'm not. What is the it? description correct that actually get a house for the guy? I'm not home. <laughs> I'm not homeless. I'm houseless. Isn't that what uh, uh, Francis uh, McDormand taught us in that uh, yeah. movie that we disagreed? Uh, wherever you are is home. 
I don't know about that. Yeah. Mm. Well, uh, mm, uh, coming up, we're going to find out an interesting thing about one guy that's going to be staying home. Uh, completely unrelated to this, but it has something to do with the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> huh. Because wait, there's wait, no wait, place wait, wait, like home. Wait a minute. What's the story? One guy's going to be staying home? Did I hear that right? Yes. <laughs> Is it me? No, no, no. No. Huh. It's a, what a weird way to promote something. What's he going to... Why... What? It's the 85th anniversary of the Wizard of Oz. Isn't that amazing? 85th? I, yes. You know, that seems a little young. <laughs> I, I, it feels older. Yeah, it feels I older. I think, older. right? Am I... 30, 39, right? And it's interesting because uh, uh, as a full-grown, as they say, a grown-ass man, Chick McGee finally realized the uh, little uh, trick there on the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Want to explain what you didn't understand at the beginning? Well, it's kind of embarrassing that only up until I'm, I'm it was recently, like two or three years ago, I realized that uh, <laughs> uh, the, the Scarecrow, the, the Lion, the, yeah. the Tin Man, they were all... The Wizard. The Wizard. They, the Witch. The Wizard, yeah. the Witch, yeah. they all worked on the farm. And sure. the, witch was her, the Witch was her teacher. And uh, I had no idea. I said, hey, those... They all look familiar. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. Spoiler alert. Oh, I think. <laughs> if you haven't seen it in the last 85 years. So do you think it was all a dream from her being hit in the head by something in that or tornado? Oh, or do you probably. Think, uh, that win that window do you think knocked she actually her out? Went? Some cognitive I issue? I don't know. Yes, she might have a co some, some sort of a cognitive <laughs> issue. Well, <that's> <laughs> but there's a guy that dropped out of freshman psychology. Uh, the uh, love point is the Wizard of Oz is in the news today involving the famous stolen ruby slippers. Mm -hmm. We'll be getting to that story. There they still go. haven't found them? They, they, oh, they found they them. They found it, but it's a mystery as to where they have been. And when you find out the motive for stealing them, <laughs> really, does it, really dumb. Does it have, does it have some sort of spectacularly <laughs> fabulous No. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you might think that there was some gentleman that yeah. wanted to put them on. And, <laughs> right. You know. Sure, uh, sure. You know, uh, you know where I'm going. See if he had the same shoe size as Judy. Sure. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> you know, or, hey, you know where I'm going. That's what he does. <laughs> Once again, it's Travis Kelsey. If you knew the Chiefs were going to win the division, <laughs> let me hear you say, hell yeah. <laughs> You sure? That's <laughs> I'm absolutely certain it's Travis Kelsey. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I don't know. I've never heard Travis Kelsey speak, so I have no idea. It was at the parade last okay. year. All right. <laughs> what is your problem with it? It's, 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 it's interesting. I mean, I know what your problem is with it. <laughs> I just don't know if it's really him. I okay, uh, but hang on, Tom. We'll, we'll do it uh, differently this time. Are you ready? Yeah. If okay. you knew the Chiefs were going to win the division. If you knew the Chiefs <laughs> were going to win the division. Let me hear you say hell yeah. Let me hear you say hell yes. <laughs> Even you bitches. Okay, now I feel better. <laughs> huh. He, no. uh, he went to high school in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. So? What does that mean? What does okay. that mean? Um, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, thank you. Could we erase that? No! Oh, we should have a vote. Can we get a vote up? Who, uh, do you want to hear Juice Newton or do you want to hear <laughs> Susie Quattro? <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, if you play that, that, you play that I'm going to play this. Mr. Pister. Oh! Mr. Pister. Oh, you found the hole. <laughs> See, I, I don't care. It makes me laugh again. <laughs> See, I went, I laughed, and I got irritated. Now I'm laughing again. Okay. Uh -huh. It's all good. <laughs> all good, good, good. Well, where were we? Oh, uh, Nikola Jokic spoiled uh, Dr. What Rivers. What you mean? Nikola. <laughs> <laughs> I could. Uh, he spoiled Doc Rivers' debut as Milwaukee coach. He recorded the 14th triple-double of the season. The Nuggets 113-107 victory over Milwaukee. Doc Rivers' new team. Of course, Doc um, was not his original nickname. It wasn't. Uh, no. Doc Rivers, his original nickname was Old Man. Old Man River. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Christy. And we right. now have Jason Kelsey here to sing for us. <laughs> If you knew this, it's Travis, isn't it? Sorry, I'm sorry. It's I may, maybe I thought it was his brother. It's the. You're welcome. Oh my God, where should I want to double home? check that? I. Right. <laughs> Is labeled. I love this alive. <laughs> there she is. Woo. This is such a sweet song. The Big Four. Susie Quattro. 
Is that her real name? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Yes, that's her real name. No. Quattro? Yeah. It could be. Yeah. You've got yeah, Ocho Cinco. Of course. Maybe she, you know, Susie Quattro married Ocho Cinco. She'd be Susie Quattro Cinco. <laughs> I'm upset I didn't think of that. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres, catorce. I love that intro. Um, well, I don't remember catorce. It's the U2 intro. It's right? the U2 intro. Oh, it's okay. Very funny. Uh, uh, maybe it is a real name. I think it is. Yeah, it doesn't really? say it's not. Okay. Yeah, the Hampton Quattros. You remember okay, sure. Oh, sure, yeah. I was... thought, isn't she from Detroit? She is from Detroit, Tom. Oh. Very good. Born in 1950. She's Hampton. 73. Hampton. 73. Um, mm -hmm. Doesn't well, she have a sister? Do you have a sister? Yeah, she was. Oh no, that's in Happy Days. She has a sister. She's only. Uh, she was Pinky, and there was a Tuscadero leather. and Leather Tuscadero. She's only twelve years younger than the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh, see, yeah. see that when you say it like that, Yikes. it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Man. Oh, here's more. <laughs> yeah. Here's just for Tom. This is uh, more of Travis Kelsey. Here comes the giant. <laughs> Here comes the giant. Okay, well, um, coming up in uh, sports, yeah, we actually have this. This this is a little confusing. Give this a real quick listen. Bad. Not bad, huh? Boy, I don't know who that is. It's Sure can sing. Yes, he said sarcastically. Very high. Uh, we'll see. I guess it's part of a part of a world record coming up in uh, sports. Uh, we'll certainly look forward to that. Now uh, I'm intrigued. We have uh, a peeing outside and getting arrested in the news. Um, a, a positive story about tobacco of all things coming up in the news. Um, and um, uh, interesting thing about um, uh, one of the biggest mysteries of the 20th century. May have uh, may have been solved. Uh, at least it's the first step has been taken. Really, really cool. And stuff. a new prop bet just oh. for Super Bowl Fifty Eight. You know what the prop bets are? The teaser sure. bets. Does it involve Taylor Swift? I'm not going to say uh -oh. until we come back. Sorry, shouldn't mm. have guessed. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's quiz time. Thank you very much. Um, I'll start with you, Christy Lee. Yeah. You um, got married many months ago. Yes. May uh, 15th. May 23rd. That was the 15th. And then um, <laughs> you, um, your husband, Andy, moved into your house. Last Sunday. Last Sunday. So yeah. that was a uh, and, uh, kind of Christie's, a honeymoon period, if you will. Christy's right? words, I, I don't know if this for sure, but uh, I'm guessing this was uh, mumbled. There are boxes everywhere. <laughs> there are boxes everywhere. <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah, could, could we get a dumpster for him. your it's stuff? Okay. I love him. Have you gone through his stuff yet? No, oh, I'm not going to go through oh, his stuff. God. Why I, would I do that? Because you want to throw away half his stuff. I just no. wanted to find a stray hotel key. <laughs> no. <laughs> old old pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? No, I meant you know, like, like shirts she doesn't care for. The point is... Picture um, him and Barbara Mandrell. <laughs> okay. Yeah. photos of him yeah. and his ex. Okay, mm -hmm. could I do, pretend they're not here, which okay. is what, what, I, what, I, what I do I all do morning. I do every day. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, uh, you have the famous sleep number bed. I love it. I'm and going up to a king size because of him. Oh. Oh, well, yeah. that, well, what's interesting is uh, your sleep number setting on your smart bed is what? 35. <laughs> that means what? means I like a soft mattress. Correct. And uh, I have found out through channels. Yes. I talked to Andy the other day. His sleep number setting is? 100. He likes a firm mattress. Right. Doesn't mean you have to buy two beds. No, ladies oh. and gentlemen. The sleep number people have perfected the smart bed. And part of that smart technology is the simple fact that you can adjust the firmness at the touch of a button. It's that simple. And they've perfected it. So... Um, if you want to get a great night's sleep, that is certainly one of the important aspects of sleeping, having the right firmness of your mattress. Sleep number smart beds automatically respond and adjust to your movements, too. That's why they're called smart beds. Plus, uh, they're a great value. And find out about this particular value. Uh, this just changed. Getting ready for President's Day, you can save 50% on the Sleep Number Limited Edition Smart Bed. This offer just begins today. So, oh, and also I should mention, some special financing stuff has also been set up for a limited time. Now, I've been sleeping in my Sleep Number bed, I want to say 19 years, and I certainly love it. And I'll tell you what, 
um, the J.D. Power folks do, too. That's an independent rating organization. And it was award season, as they say. And J.D. Power gave the Sleep Number Smart Bed number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in-store. Read it for yourself, jdpower.com slash awards. Check out the Sleep Number Bed if you're looking for a new mattress. Do a, do a smart move and get a bed that's going to last longer and can be adjusted so she's happy or he's happy or everybody else is happy. It should be called the Sleep Number Happy Smart Bed. Sleepnumber.com slash BT Show. Tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you. That'll help us. It'll help you. Once again, sleepnumber.com slash BT Show. I love my Sleep Number Bed. Coming up also, we have interesting things, something interesting in the world of art and in the world of boat building. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that, that may not keep you here. How about this? Uh, <laughs> how about a naked lady in a convenience store twiddling her diddler? Oh, boy. Uh, okay. Hey. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at one. My, my favorite news story of the year today. Yogi in disguise. Uh, Christy, can I just read you the headline? Because this really is mostly about you. <laughs> I know exactly where you're going with this. I and, know, you know what exactly stories? what story. It involves bass players. That's all it, he's going to yes, have to say. Yes, it involves a scientific study yes. of bass players. Yes. And uh, this is the, the greatest under, story. The over-under on a, a, a musicians Christie's dated, I'm going to go 12. Over dated? Under. Dated. Oh, by dated, he's... They, you know, it's kind of a fail. No, 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 one date, not necessarily. Chris Ace uh, is back there giggling. Over, under, 12? <laughs> over, under, 12. Ooh. Should I take the over? <laughs> <laughs> no, now I have to Just think first about date. it. Yeah, think about it. Put, pen, think put okay. pen to paper. But bass players in the news in a very <laughs> positive way. What do you define way. as dating? Uh, yeah, watch out. my, watch my, oh, you see this, this finger? <laughs> Don't do that. The, no, no, that's not a date. That's no. not a date. Wait, oh, so we're not talking bedded? That's not a date. Thank you, Josh. No, we're not talking date. bedded. I'll okay. say this. So uh, uh, an intimate encounter in the back of a car is not a date. I'm no. going to say, no, and I'm going to say. I've never had that, to be honest with you. You rode somewhere. Hang on a second. In the car with him, and he was driving. Okay. That's a date. You have never had any kind of an intimate encounter in an automobile or a truck? Uh, not oh. in the back seat. <laughs> ah, I, I, Your Honor, I, I rest my case. And under uh, the, the categories the are defense, potpourri. Uh, the defense rests. Uh, I'd like to call Mrs. Christie Roadhead Lee to the stand, please. No, no. Well, you can do more in the front seat than that. Potables, famous American. Uh, once again, truck bed uh, sex. I rest my case. <laughs> Larry, the cable guy. Larry, good morning. It's good to see you. But I, I got to tell you, I had a horrible nightmare. Last night? Last night. Really? Before I come in here, I dreamt I drank the world's largest margarita. Uh-huh. And uh, woke up this morning, they were soft on the toilet lid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I didn't eat the worm in there, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> i tell you what, i tell you, I was madder than a skinhead watching the Jeffersons. i tell you what, i tell you what. We Remember this? God, I have no Josh. idea why you're paying. It's Josh's new dance. Is that the safety dance? Ooh, yeah. You know, so it, it really, maybe TV is your thing. Uh, you, are, you are quite the dancer. Yes, you are. You, I mean, for a, for a stout man, you move well. Oh, yes. Yeah, um, <laughs> he couldn't. He couldn't. Oh, you're a stout man. Even it? elephants have moments of grace. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you're a, you're a, a uh, husky no, fellow. For, for a guy who it clearly takes 15 minutes to get out of bed. Gosh, uh, you let alone. So <laughs> Anybody in the room break their toilet seat this weekend? Oh, my for, God. <laughs> for a man who nearly passes out every time he ties his shoe, uh, you certainly can. No, you, you, you really do. Move well. Oh, let's go get water. <laughs> just leave him here. Let's just leave him here. We'll you and him, we'll go. The steroid era is about to start entering the Hall of Fame. I think so. It might happen. Uh, Let me grab that. Grab okay. Hello, Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Babe Ruth. Hey, hey, the, hey, the, hey, hey, the Bambino, the awesome. Sultan of SWAT, here in the Hall of Fame, right? Sure is. Yeah. Sure, Dad. You know, we don't get the best reception up here in heaven, so let me get this right, Dad. I heard we got a pudgy old bag named Rains headed to Cooperstown. <laughs> yeah. Three, three, uh, well, never mind. Why bother? <laughs> yes, hey, you're correct. they've lowered their standards. I knew it was bad when Cobb didn't go to bed for the last two days and still washed his sheets. <laughs> <laughs> hi <Hi-oh. laughs> okay, Dad. Back in my day, if you didn't hit at least 600 home runs and bang twice as many dames, you didn't stand a chance. 
and how. <laughs> now they got these steroids we hear about. <laughs> Tell all we had was yellow fever, polio, and warts. And that's just what they put in the hot dogs, <laughs> 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 All right, listen, the train's leaving. We got giga water and a box of stogies. I'll see you in Cooperstown. <laughs> 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 I was born in the money, my last name would be Massengale. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, the big douche baron. <laughs> the douche baron. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you, you got waiters making fun. You want oil and vinegar? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and bring it. <laughs> my dad, the big douche baron. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom, 24-7. Right now, Killer Bees joins us in the studio. Uh, Bees, how you doing? Real good, man. Well, Ranking up a shopping list over here. My wife's eating in bed now. She's at that part of the pregnancy where they crave all this food. Mm -hmm. Some people have mirrors over the bed. We got a sneeze guard. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep wrong. Those posture pedic seal meal, man. What... <laughs> hey, you ain't live till you're making love and your wife says, go slow, I'm spilling my chili. <laughs> <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> 747 flying both from New York to Seattle. Mm -hmm. And the, all of the toilets on the plane stopped work. I think the funniest okay, part is... Okay, first of all, they've only gone three hours. I'm sure you can hold it for three hours, can't you? You have children, don't you? Christy, we're all full-grown adults. Yeah? You're... Barbie size. <laughs> We're going to the bathroom every hour, every half hour, a lot. You little Josh, every... little Josh has had a double dose of that in-flight chili of meal. Of course. Oh, All right. Gee. Did you hear this? First off, <laughs> he can see when I take a flight. He's one of the fattest things I've ever. Tom done. assumes I would order the chili as if that were ever an option. <laughs> However, and he said a double dose, meaning I requested seconds. <laughs> Comedian David Crow is here with us. I think the most intense culture in the world has got to be the Japanese. I read that uh, they won't play Trivial Pursuit in Japan. They won't? No. I think these guys are afraid of their wives. In Japan? Well, probably. Yeah. I know the Japanese ladies are very meek and polite in public, but you know that pent-up frustration has got to come out somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's at home. They get home just, Psh! I can't believe you don't know who plays Alice on the Brady Bunch. <laughs> Everybody know Ann B. Davis play Alice. <laughs> Mr. Yashikaro no, Mr. Arakawa no, you don't know. <laughs> Aunt Jemima, she's a soup lady. <laughs> <laughs> she don't clean for Mike and Carol, I shall bind your feet for two days. <laughs> I mean, how do you think sushi got invented? Screw you, cook for self. <laughs> I had this was supposed about that coming up. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. As America begins to go a little crazy for the Super Bowl. As Tom would say, one of the last points of commonality that we I, as citizens have. The. The. The only one? It's yeah. all, I mean, it's been the biggest, most watched television event for this and uh, years. Mar March Madness. and But nowhere near the ratings, of course. Well, March Madness has broken up so much. But last year... Uh, 2023, 93 of the top 100 television programs were NFL games, so it's very popular. It did very well, yeah. Uh, once again, we heard the airline. I just thought of something kind of what? interesting. The airline, uh, American Airlines has renumbered re their flights from Kansas City to uh, Las Vegas for the Super Bowl in honor of uh, Taylor Swift and, uh, of course, uh, Travis. Travis Kelsey. Did you say Travis Kelsey? I did. If you knew the Chiefs were going to win the division... Let me hear you say, hell yeah! Woo! Okay. He's very excited. Yeah. Do you suppose when the plane lands, the pilot will go, touchdown? Oh. Yeah. Because it's the only other time you use touchdown, isn't it? Yeah. Or to set us thumbs thinking about that. Don't this. you mean tutties? What? Tutty. They're you learned yeah. that word, remember? Oh, Slang. Yeah. For, uh, who calls it that? Everybody. Oh. Everybody who loves football. Oh. There's Tutties, there's Burger, 50 Burger, 70 Piece. 
You score 70 <laughs> points in the NBA, you get, they call it a 70 piece. A tutty. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Grow up. Uh, we're okay. all children, aren't we? Okay. One of I'm our sorry. favorite stories from yesterday we're going to revisit. You love this because the zebras were in the median in Indiana. If there's anything funnier, it's a median. It's uh, police cars. It's uh, <laughs> policemen camels. are standing around. Camels. They, they've got uh, they've got their pads out like the policemen do, taking sure. taking uh, accounts of the incident. <laughs> and there are the zebras standing right there. So with it was a, a, a circus. It was a circus. It was a semi trailer. Shrine carrying. circus with some uh, critters on board. Several circus animals were on board a tractor trailer, and there was an accident on Interstate 69. The tractor trailer caught fire. So, of course, the police were called, and a state trooper, a Grant County Sheriff's deputy, and a third person were able to rescue five zebras, four camels, and a miniature horse by leading them off the smoke-filled trailer. Um, none of the animals were injured. Two of the police officers were treated for smoke inhalation, but they're fine now. But the video is hysterical. You see camels roaming the roadway, zebras munching on grass in the middle of the freeway. It shut down the freeway for five hours. That wasn't fun, but it was... Uh, it five was hours? Three to five hours, I think. Yeah, it was a while. Wow. Uh, now, Pat, you have a, a tribute to... The I always update the Ventura song by America, oh. Ventura <laughs> Highway. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yes. So here's, here we go. Camels chewing grass <laughs> on the side of the road. Oh, oh, oh. Nice chick. Truck caught fire, carrying its circus load. <laughs> you don't normally see zebras out in the Midwest. Maybe I should take a field sobriety test. Indiana Highway. They call it I-69. <laughs> Josh makes 69 jokes all the time. And Tom goes, I get it. <laughs> I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's camels and zebras and a miniature horse. A truck on fire off its course. Indiana drivers sit and stare. There's a whiff of camel dung in the air. In the air. Oh, everybody. <laughs> what? <laughs> dung. Smell nose. of dung. Camel dung. Oh, yeah. camel dung. Oh. Doody, doody. Why am I laughing? Doody, doody. Is it silly? I, I didn't know the camels were out there for five hours. I think it was three hours. Oh, okay. it was well, three still, hours. Still, it was a while. <laughs> That has to be. I, I, can you imagine the radio transmissions? <laughs> I'm, I'm on Grant County, Sheriff. We we have uh, five camels here on Interstate 69. <laughs> We're up to our hips and zebras. Uh, I don't know what the hell's going on there. Uh, I would think the zebras would be the tough ones to corral. Yeah. I guess they can both run pretty quick. And what is it? You can't ride a zebra? No. Uh, a human you, being? No, you cannot ride they a zebra. They will not let you ride them. Right? No, they are a wild animal. They do not they do domesticate. Have, they do have well, camel rides. Yes. I've, I've been on one. You've ridden a camel? Yeah. You ever done that? Honestly. Yeah. They had him at well, the... Well, of uh, course I haven't done it. They had him at the Halloween thing. Uh, the Halloween used, thing? Used to go to, yeah. What? They had a pet. camel? Yeah, they had, cam they had a camel ride. Yeah, absolutely. Don't you mean the Christmas thing? No, it was a Halloween thing, and they have uh, the trampolina, what is it called, the big thing you'd bounce on. We used to oh. go to a pumpkin patch that had camel rides, too. It's really? A, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not a... And did it have the baby in the manger at the at the Halloween celebration? No, no, no. That's the, no. The, they rent the camel for that later in the year. It's the Halloween thing. So this is, to me, it sounds like the camel people are trying to create another holiday where they are in demand, much like they're uh, around Christmas. It was fun. Yeah. Right? They were like, what are we going to do with the camels the rest yeah, of the year? Put them to work. <laughs> uh, it was fun, yeah. But uh, in any event, all, all the camels are okay. Yeah, everybody, everybody, it, the incident was reported at two, though. All of the animals were accounted for by 3.30. Mm. Figure that one out. And then the interstate reopened at 6.30. So it was it was a long time. Wow. You offer a camel a drink of water, you think? Hey, can I get you some water? No, I drank less much. I'm fine. Oh, I got my drink. <laughs> I just had a, a, a bottled water two two years ago. Yeah, there you I'm go. Fine. This could have gone very, very wrong. Well, yes. 
You think there was camel? Somebody hit a zebra? Can you imagine? That would answer the question, what's black and white, white. and red all over <laughs> <laughs> Interstate 69? My poor. Uh, yeah, a zebra oh. <laughs> that hit, got hit by a Peterbilt. Can you imagine uh, being the insurance agent at 3 in the morning? Uh, you're not going to believe this. I oh, hit a zebra. Uh, what? Like <laughs> Bob Newhart. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, coming up in sports. You think there's zebra scat and camel scat out there? Had to be. Probably. Doing their business. Probably. That long, three hours? <laughs> yeah. Nervous. Speeding cars and oh, trucks. Yeah. Lord, right? They crapped. <laughs> <laughs> the high, they I had like, to. I like. Do animals grunt? Like with, with a tough movement, that yeah. kind of thing? Well, Campbell's spit, right? They yeah. spit. Yeah. Oh, Unless yeah. they love you. Yeah. <laughs> then they'll swallow. Oh, they'll swallow. That's it. Uh, more sports coming up, including uh, we're, we're going to make some money together on the, on the Super Bowl. Just, right. just do exactly as I tell you. You made your pick? Uh, yeah. Oh, is, gosh. Is spread yeah. one point still? Yeah, it's Kansas. Uh, it's, um, San Kansas Francisco. City plus the one. Okay, we'll find out more when we come back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. You want to learn how to uh, avoid a holes in your life? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Walk out of this. I do, Christy. I come in early. <laughs> uh, apparently, there is a gentleman, Robert Sutton, a professor of organizational behavior and engineering at Stanford University, has written two books about a holes and how people can survive them. Here are his suggestions. Pretty easy. Steps to avoid. And change the a-hole in your life. Uh -huh. Not going to an axe hurling bar. <laughs> Number one, create physical distance. One of the most reliable ways to become an a-hole is to be around them. I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I am out of here. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Screen Door Productions presents A Day at Fergler's Hardware.
off a divorce. Bob, that skirt doesn't even go with that blouse. Now put on this apron and go do the dishes. You don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We can't go anymore. <laughs> Holy That's cow. a good day's work, everybody. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. I actually uh, I have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right. Well, check out. Uh -huh. mm. uh, in my fantasy, I am making love to this woman. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she feels the earth move beneath her. Mm. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> 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 Safety first, everybody. Safety first. Uh, now, we have uh, Lord Caret with us in the studio. How are you, sir? I'm good. Oh, good. You're, uh, let's see, last time we checked, you were a single man. Yeah. Still single, I gather. Did you, Still did, single. Are you officially divorced? Did that go? I'm annulled, which is like it never happened. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. Really? The judge said in 30 years he'd never done an annulment. He said, but if you kids want one, I'll give you one. So. How about that? No, yeah, nice. we went for it. Because as you, you know, my. Did, did you go there So together? an annulment means you get to keep your stuff. Kind of, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but uh, as you know, my, my most recent marriage was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmunds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry to hear that. Uh, hello. <laughs> and you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. Ah, uh, yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. <laughs> 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 really? Uh, and it's, they won't. They just won't, they won't do, do it. it. And it's only a rule of thumb. Uh -huh. They don't have it written no, down I anywhere. See. They spring it out at the last minute. And you're Ooh. like, well, if I'd have known that, I'd have pulled myself together uh, out front. Uh, <laughs> Bob and Tom. Tom. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. Hey, there's Josh Arnold, the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. Got that Ace Cosby joke of the day coming up. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. I got a request. We were talking about the um, incident that uh, made the international newswire in which a uh, circus truck had to empty out its contents in the middle of a freeway in Indiana with uh, camels and zebras and miniature horses and uh, bearded, oh bearded lady, beard caught on fire. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, I think so, yeah. I, uh, you got to be careful. Everyone was fine except the sword swallower. Oh, yeah. yeah when, when they applied the brakes, he, yikes. Ooh, oh, yeah. that's the airbag got him. Yeah, you don't want to be practicing sword swallowing in a moving vehicle. No, no, no. Yeah, when, I, when I was a kid, some guy got a... Death sentence from a number two pencil in his throat. What? Oh, yeah. At what? school? No, no, no. In oh. the back of a car while writing. What was he? What? what? Yeah, we, the car crashed and the pencil went right through there. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Hmm. What was he? <laughs> that should have been an episode of uh, Six Feet Under. Huh. But it happened. Uh -huh. So the pencil's what killed him? Yeah. Not, Not the crash. Not necessarily the car crash. Uh, apparently, yeah. That's wild. I wonder if he was erasing at the time. <laughs> we went in graphite oh, first. The point I, I, thank, thank you. Uh, but uh, <laughs> right now, <laughs> right, I've got a request for something. Well, that gives one pause, doesn't yes. it? Camel related. Mm. Uh, we'll get to shortly. But we return now to the uh, sports desk with Chick McGee. Uh, coming up, uh, what? Oh, it's Thursday night. A couple days from now, it will be uh, the Pro Bowl begins in uh, beautiful or or Orlando, Florida. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This I will. Isn't Orlando uh, down there close to another city? Well, it's in central Florida. Central Chick. Florida. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Hop on I-4. You might want to head toward Daytona Beach. Go sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, north Cape east. Canaveral. Mm -hmm. You go through Sanford. Oh, yeah, yep. Sanford. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're, 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 Larry the King. You got Remember their slogan. Space Coast. You big dummy. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, then uh, on your way, you'll pass through DeLand, Florida. Where Whoa, DeLand. Go ahead. It's your turn. Why do they call it DeLand? <laughs> well, it's funny, Christy, because it's on the way to DeSea. <laughs> You changed it up a little bit. There yeah, there you go. That's, well, that's how you <laughs> lengthened it. <laughs> Chatty AF is what we're doing. Uh, okay. So anyway, Thursday night, here's the here's what the NFL Pro Bowl has become. Is everyone ready? Yes. <laughs> Thursday night, there will be six skills competitions held, and it's called the Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl skills competition. Are they going to play Wordle? Is live? it an all skate? What do we no. do? No. <laughs> There'll be a best catch. Yeah. One player from each conference will participate with catches pre taped at locations around Orlando before fans vote on a winner. Oh, this is okay. catching a football or catching some uh, young, nubile groupie. 
Hey, man. I'm going to guess that that competition will not be televised, but I'm thinking this hey is, yes, catching the, the football. revolution will not be televised. That's what I've heard. <laughs> Precision passing. Quarterbacks from each conference throw to targets. Closest to the oh, is this like in the Viagra commercial where they throw the uh, ball through a hanging tire? Remember that commercial? Mm -hmm. Do remember, remember that, Josh? Yeah. yeah. Was that Viagra or Levitra? It was Viagra, I think. Or no, or was it... Uh, was it the tire was Levitra. Cialis. I think it was Cialis. I thought it was Levitra. In one of them, there was a, a tire swing, and they're throwing footballs through it, and this was somehow to be <laughs> associated with uh, male potency. <laughs> Uh, maybe because it's hard to throw a football through a tire swing. I don't know. Uh, yeah. uh, then they're going to have closest to the pin. This is all Thursday night. It's going to be on the Horseshoes? ESPN. Golf? Horseshoes? Closest to the pin is a golf thing. And horseshoes. Is it they golf? call it that? No, they don't call it anything the pin and horseshoes. Yeah, it's what you try to get get around. No, it's that's called not pin? called the pin. What's it called? The stick? <laughs> the oh, it's the steak, I think. Steak? Steak. 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 Or is it I always eat a steak while I'm pitching horseshoes? That's a good thing to do. Isn't there, really... There's this old saying, horseshoes and hand grenades. Right. Close uh, enough. A leaner. Yeah. It's a, the width of the horseshoe. And a, and a grenade has a pin, and so does a horseshoe. So what is the... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> you stand corrected. Yeah. Line of the day. Uh, um, so, so I'm sorry. So what are they doing with the, these? Six, the... player, six players from each conference will put their golf skills to the test oh. with a driving God, oh test. Oh, my gosh. If you find yourself watching this, you may want to reevaluate staying alive. They've got me now. I had no idea this was going They're to be so golf? Wide, wide and varied. I had no idea. Uh, we're not even done yet. High stakes. This is something uh, that the players will attempt to catch punts from a jugs machine, and if you drop it, you're eliminated. Are oh. they on fire? <laughs> <laughs> the balls or the players? The balls. Um, Don't be ridiculous, Josh. The balls. <laughs> Both will be on fire. Christy, no. great idea. You should start working for the NFL. That is a great idea. Um, also, they're going to play, I am not making this up, dodgeball. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Come on. This classic game will feature offense versus defense from both conferences with five players per team. Don't you want to see no. someone get hit in the face with a dodgeball <laughs> thrown by Josh Allen? <laughs> <laughs> if Josh Allen hit somebody in the face with a dodgeball, that he would be in a coma. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. knock him out, I bet. <laughs> no doubt about it. Um, we had a kid in well, my high school who was an athletic f phenom, and we played dodgeball like once every six weeks or whatever the hell it was. And when he threw the ball, you could hear it coming. Ooh. Yes. It would. Like every, a, every school has that It does. It like hisses. It hisses. And then it hits you in the face and you're down and you're crying. Is he also really good at tetherball? Not mm. tetherball. He was good no. at football. We had uh, we had uh, normal people where I went to high school. Tom, you didn't you didn't play tetherball? Didn't play no, tetherball. No. Tether not game. not in high school. In grade school, yes. Grade school, we had tetherball. And no. The kid that was the best. We never athlete. played tetherball in uh, grade school. Oh, couldn't afford the stick. Did you ever? <laughs> oh no, it's just a, kind of a lame. <laughs> <laughs> Very middle class. <laughs> there was a lot of four square, a lot of tetherball. In our grade school recesses, a lot, a lot of, of four square. Did you have yeah. the uh, the giant map of the United States painted on the playground? No, uh, that was really. Did cool. you have a lake out by the playground? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. no I'm, not, I'm kidding. Not kidding. You could stand in each state and you walk around, get a feel for the country. I went to a Catholic. <laughs> wow. Hey, let me tell you something. You're pretty funny this morning. Uh, how about that? <laughs> Uh, and then after we get done with dodgeball, there's one more event. What network is airing? What was crap? your favorite state back then? Oh yeah, go ahead. Was it Michigan? Is still? Was it? I tell you, we, I, you could. I could stand in Ohio and <laughs> right walk a couple feet, then take a couple steps up north, and I'd be in Harbor Springs uh -huh. having okay. a great time. All right, there you hey, go. Hey, look, there's Camp Ayawenta, uh -huh. Torch Lake. Um, what air, what network is airing this? ESPN this turd? and all of ABC. I bet it's on ABC. What? Let's oh. start with ESPN, then get back to me. And then finally, kick tack toe. Once again, not making this up. Kickers from each conference will compete in a giant tick tack toe competition by kicking footballs to targets and winning the square. I like it. That's interesting. And Paul Lynn. Bart Starr is turning over in his grave right now. Come People on. who love football. Do they do anything that is like an intelligence test? Do they do like a... <laughs> 
what? You know, like something that involves <laughs> some Wonder smarts. Lick, or... Like the crossword puzzle of the day? Yeah, I'd be mean, just something, I don't know. Well, you're not even, save your anger because it, you're really going to get mad here soon. <laughs> then Sunday, uh, it's an all also an all-day event. They're going to have the Madden NFL head-to-head. <laughs> Two players face off in Madden NFL 2024. That'll be great. Using the game. <laughs> That'll be, I mean, I think people will watch that. You think? Yes. People love to watch people play video games. Then they're going to be uh, the Gridiron Gauntlet. Six players from each conference will compete in an obstacle course and a full field relay race. Now I watched that. Mm. Much like uh, at high school during the, what? What do they have? Like some sort of a competition day out in the field near the high school, right? Mm-hmm. So the, the idea of this is the, field day. The, the, field day. The, the players aren't going to get hurt. Tug of war. Five players from each conference will oh. tug on a rope above yeah. a foam pit. That could result in someone's arm getting cut off. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. Pull the shoulder <laughs> out. This is called, the next uh, The next one's called Move the Chains. Okay. Five offensive linemen and defensive linemen from each conference will try to move 3,000 pounds of weight off a wall and then pull the 2,000-pound wall across the finish line. Wow. I don't ask any questions. I don't know what I just said. And finally, just for you, Tom, Seven-on-seven flag football. That'll be, so that'll be kind of interesting. There will be three seven-on-seven games of flag football between the conferences. There. And this is going to go on for how long? Uh, there will be Thursday and then Sunday. Oof. There you Yikes. go. Okay. And then the NFL honors are uh, sometime next week, I think, or or must be the week after. I don't know. It's okay. all coming up. Tom. All right. All right. There, there, there you go. Well, thank you very much. For You're the, uh, welcome, the, sir. The, uh, all the football players will be at Disney World with their kids. Now, of all, that information, uh, of all that information I gave you, what do you remember and what are you looking forward to? I'm Lee Josh. I'm looking forward to the uh, the uh, tic tac or kick kick tac toe. Kick tac toe. That's right. <laughs> I think I'd like that. Kick tac toe. Oh, look at this. Look Haven't at we that. always said if it if it hits the bar on a right. field goal attempt and mm-hmm. then goes in, it should be worth four points. Right. Mm-hmm. But do you have to call it? I yeah. can't remember. Yeah. So if you call it, you've got to call it. I'm hitting yeah. the bar. Yeah. If you, if you either post five points. Yes. Right. Again, you got to call it. Yeah. <laughs> but if you miss it, <laughs> yeah, miss the bar. You don't get any more. Yeah, okay, that I like fun. it. Okay, uh, 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 now uh, please uh, help me here with tell me what is coming up in sports. Well, Tom, we've got world records. I'm up to my neck in world records. Uh, there will everything from figure skating to uh, uh, different languages to uh, <laughs> people playing with their fingers. Hmm. All coming up. A oh, really? A finger banging. Coming. Okay. Oh, like making a fake gun and going bang, bang, bang? <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh, well, no, no. Uh, oh, no. But yeah, we do have fingering in the news. Um, <laughs> right now, I want to remind you, the clock is ticking. And uh, Steven Singer from Steven Singer Jewelers can help you out and and to fix you up. Uh, oh, check, check check her out. Wait a minute. What's happening over there? Oh, Steven Singer sent me this beautiful At Last bracelet. This is the greatest Valentine's Day gift, guys. I'm not kidding. $248. It worked. It's gorgeous. All these diamonds, and it's it's just a beautiful, beautiful well, gift. Very nice. That's yeah. Nice. Yeah, Steven see, Singer. See what I got? I'm holding it in my hand. That's right. Nothing. nothing. I, got, I got my stick in my hand over here. You want to wear my bracelet? I'll share. Um, I don't think it'll go around uh, my wrist. Uh, fellas, so. I'll talk to you. Oh, okay. uh, right now, you can also uh, get from Steven Singer Jewelers the Malibu Pink Oh, gold that. dipped rose. There's one in here. So there it is, right over there. Yeah. Dip, 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 dip. And that's uh, that's an actual rose dipped in uh, dipped in gold. And then uh, artisans paint the uh, the petals and the leaves. You could drape that bracelet right. Yeah, that, there's the, the there's the home it. run there. The bracelet on top of the gold rose. Oh yeah. And by the way, the uh, the uh, Malibu pink or gold rose comes in a beautiful box, uh, and uh, it's got a nice a personalized Valentine's Day card, and it's just fifty nine bucks. So uh, beware of knockoffs or copycats. Make sure you go to IHateStevenSinger.com. Steven is S-T-E-V-E-N. IHateStevenSinger.com. And uh, check out this uh, because you can get this done today. If you get the order in before 2 o'clock, out the door today. You'll have it in plenty of time for Valentine's Day. Stop stalling. You don't want to be that guy. Uh, well, I bought these nice roses for you from a guy under a bridge. They don't smell too much like cemetery vomit. Oh. So you want to buy something nice. <laughs> get, <laughs> that's I right. saw cemetery vomit open up for Slipknot one time. Pretty good. <laughs> you know, vomit would have been enough. Cemetery would have been enough. I'm just implying that those flowers uh, came back. The, the, the real thing is from Steven Singer Jewelers. I hate stevensinger.com. Tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Do it right now. And we'll talk about tr- uh, prop vets coming uh, back. I'm, look, I'm looking forward support. to that. And a little uh, a camel tribute on the way. This is the Bob and Tom Show.
Cam Newton folds like a Jeff Bodart joke. <laughs> <laughs> Turducken. Turducken. You mean, Turducken. and now from the source. We're Turducken. all doing Bodart. <laughs> Turducken. 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 Let's listen. I, I'm going to play the original. I want to see if you guys can get the right pitch. Okay. I'll play it at the end of the, I'll say three, two, and one. Say okay. the one. Three, two. Turducken. 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 You got to go high. Turducken. Okay. The turducken on this show means a joke that uh, had, has no merit. Well, let's hear it. I think he had a stroke is my favorite line from Josh. A anyway, um, we could hear that, um, I love that in its bit. entirety. My favorite was when Josh looks at him and trying to help. Uh, it was like being backstage for a moment. Dude, there's nothing there. <laughs> now, yeah, as, on. the setup on this is a uh, classic joke uh, delivered by our engineer, Ace. Ace, do you wanna, can you do it again? Do you remember the joke? We, we were talking about... The uh, joke is uh, in there, right? I don't think it's in this one. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. Do you know the joke, Ace? Remember? Yeah. It's a, it's a fact that uh, people think the first French fries were fried in France. They weren't. Oh, where were they fried? They were fried in Greece. Ah. Oh. See, get it? Yeah. See? Good, good play on words. Love jokes that you have to go, get it? Words have, words have two meaning. Greece, yep. you cook in That's Greece, right. a country. Right. Uh, and you don't see it coming. It's a classic joke. Sure. Now, try to get that, that joke momentum in your head as you hear what happened immediately following Ace's joke. What's a duck fried in? What's a duck fried in? No, that's that's Jeff Bodar talking. And by the way, he just so got excited. done booing Ace. Right. He's yes, so yes. excited. So excited. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, uh, this is a man who makes his living selling wands. Hey! <laughs> no, he's a stand-up comedian. Yeah, that's a side hustle. Oh, the wands. Okay, side hustle. Okay. Side it's a side hustle. Hustle. okay. <laughs> so once again, Ace says, "Okay, the, they're fried in, in 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 Greece. Okay, get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Then and then here's Mr. Bodart. What's a duck fried in? What's a duck fried in? <laughs> Turkey." <laughs> now, I want you to know, I did not pause that. No. No. That was that was genuine. <laughs> stunned silence. I mean, that's a full two, three yes, seconds. That's, yeah, we that's never have that. Silence. Right. Yes, everyone never. is sort of processing. I think they're all going. That we're all going. How, what? Okay, why am I not getting this? Yes. Right. At first, your brain goes, I don't get it. <laughs> then, and then you're going, why don't I get it? What am I ignorant of? It must be some inside thing. And then we all realize none of us are getting it. And then we're laughing about that. And that's where we pick up the uh, pick up the joke. Turducken. And then he and then he turducken. Very. And then he takes ownership of it yes, yeah. by saying it again. Yeah. Which is what I am famous for. If if at first you don't succeed, yes, you say it again. Say it so many times, they'll laugh just to make you stop. <laughs> Let's get back to the momentum of the lack of a joke here. I mean, this is what happened next. That is, that, that is even a joke. <laughs> <laughs> he may be having a stroke. <laughs> now, I, I have tried to say that isn't even a joke. Yeah. Yep. Now everyone's laughing, and then someone submits that he may be having a stroke <laughs> because he seems shy. to be so upset, and then it goes here. <laughs> It's as bad as that crap over there. That is a joke. Now he's accusing Ace of telling a bad joke. Right. I enjoyed the joke very much. That's Ace. a, Ace's was a joke. And yes. It was a, yes. It was a yes. Classic, classic joke. I think and probably in the Joke Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. And then we continue. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, what, is, that what, does a dirt, what, no, what does a duck fight in? No, that's a, a duck fried in. Oh, what is a he's duck fried, fried in? He's fried in turkey. In? Yeah, turducken. <laughs> oh, Jeff, there's nothing no, there, man. Not That's, the, beauty, the beauty of the end of that is it's like two comedians have just come off stage. Yeah. They're, they're driving home after the gig, and Josh looks at him and goes, Hey, the Turducken thing. There, there's nothing, nothing there. there. There's nothing there, man. You can't know it. Because I maybe, out of all of us in the room, we're giving him the biggest benefit of the doubt. Yeah. yeah. Because I've. <laughs> You've been there. And yeah, sometimes you just got to so, tell him, no. Man. It, to use the word concept wrong, conceptually, uh, concept really means like gravity, but nevertheless, oh, okay. conceptually, what he's trying to say is, uh, when you make a, a turducken, that's the that was popular a few years back. What is it? You take a boneless uh, chicken or something and cram it inside a duck, and then cram that inside a turkey. Is that right. the deal? Yeah. Right. But you don't always fry them. No, you don't fry them. <laughs> and I suppose you probably could. You don't, but you don't. And the it's turkey punchline relies on the grease punchline. Right. So it doesn't even stand on its own. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. So, so uh, that is the... If you uh, really want to get into it. Yeah. This is a new feature on the show we call joke autopsy. <laughs> <laughs> where we take well, a joke to the morgue. We and could be start here all night. Doing some and you know, if you talk to Jeff, he still thinks...
thinks it was funny. I know. And, and claims that people got to have his back. No. That, uh, <laughs> no one can. I would no. like to see the exegesis as that is. <laughs> you lay it all out for me. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> what is a what is it? What, what is a duck fry? Jeff, in? there's yeah. nothing there, man. <laughs>
This is a legal house of prostitution. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, They're yeah. proud That's of their... Dumb. You, you want to spend $400 on a gloved HJ? Gloved. <laughs> <laughs> you go a la carte. Uh, yeah, the limo driver do it for 300 <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Everybody. Close your hey, eyes. You'll hey, never hey, know. Hey, Barry, uh, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll give you, I'll give you 250 if you take the glove off and we go bareback. <laughs> hey, tell oh, me more God. about the gloved HJ. A gloved HJ. <laughs> <laughs> 300 will get you a medical glove. Uh, okay. Uh, 50 bucks, it'll be a catcher's mitt. All right. <laughs> nice white cotton glove. Come on. Uh, what was uh, the name of that HBO? You know this, Ace, the, 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 their HBO show. That, that was about the Bunny Ranch. Bunny Ranch. Yeah. Was, yeah, what was oh, that yeah, called? Yeah, 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 yeah. Was it the Bunny Ranch? I didn't know. It was one yeah. of them. Yeah. It was but one. one of the episodes, a mother brought her son yeah, in. Yeah, I remember that. And, the, and they sat on the bed and talked to the employee. And, and <laughs> Did they get free psychiatry for life afterwards? <laughs> How did that work? I, I don't know. It was okay. called Cat House. Cat House! Yeah, the owner was a, quite a character. Yes, he was. I do love the word Cat House. You don't hear that enough. I do like Dennis Cat House. Dennis Hoff, was that yeah. his yeah. name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead yeah. Or, dead or in four o'clock. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, and a couple quick things. Um, uh, Pat. Uh, yes, sir. We had this, uh, my, my favorite story of the week. Um, it t- took place over the weekend, a uh, circus a truck had to pull over on the freeway, and they had to unload the uh, the camels and the zebras. zebras and the little miniature horses and the bearded lady and uh, all the uh, mm-hmm. stuff because um, there was a fire. But the, the animals were all rounded up, but it closed the freeway for, what, six hours? Yeah. Almost, yeah. Uh, like two to four, six. Four and a half hours, yeah. But uh, ze- I'm, I'm not sure how they contained the zebras. I mean, I guess, did they have them on... Bridles? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Last no, one? they weren't getting married. <laughs> I don't think they had drank guns. Or no. something. Oh, there you go. Do you have a, a tribute to a, a loose zebra? Yeah, zebras are hard to catch. There was one out in uh, California that escaped from a zoo. It took right. them like weeks to catch. I the, remember we ca- that came was a, a, zebra, a recurring yeah. story, that zebra on the loose. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm the type of zebra <laughs> who will never settle down. I broke out of the zoo and I roam around the town. I like to eat some bark. An apple if it's ripe. It's hard to blend in a park, you know, on a of these stripes. They call me the wanderer, the zebra wanderer. <laughs> My stripes go up and down and up and down. <laughs> I'm no Marty from Madagascar. The movie didn't get it right. Zebras aren't from there. Try to pet me, I will bite. Don't put a saddle on my back. I'm gonna make you cry. Kick you in the face. Give you a three-week black eye. Here comes my handlers with tranquilizers. My straps go up and down. Oh. Now, do you guys remember the story about... Um, the zoo that uh, came under fire for painting a donkey with stripes to make it look like a zebra. Wasn't and they got, it like in got, It was in Baghdad? Cairo. Oh, Cairo. Yeah, and they, it was they got caught. Well, of course. Um, because, obviously, it was a donkey. And it rained. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, it had, it, the paint had started to smudge. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says the zoo staff painted a common donkey white with black stripes, trimmed its mane to make it look like a zebra, but... Um, they got caught. Oops. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of the zebras. They're f- cool looking. They're cool. And uh, having a loose zebra in your county would be really kind of fun. Every day you wake up going, I wonder where the zebra is today. Oh, I'm seeing over by the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Could you let them roam? Would, would, would the, they wouldn't attack anybody. A zebra? They, they yeah. might. Uh, uh, just might run into traffic. That would be the problem. Yeah. But otherwise, you'd think it might be nice. Yeah, well, here you go. Police in Arizona say a runaway zebra was hit by a car in a Phoenix suburb. Ah, oh, man. Boy, that's got to be a mess, Ooh. right? The zebra broke out of the Chandler Ostrich Festival. Mm. <laughs> Hold Due it. to boredom. Hold it. Wait. <laughs> oh, you've never been. <laughs> Chandler, Arizona Ostrich Festival? Yeah, uh-huh. It takes place in March. How okay. many ostriches are involved? I don't know. So many. Enough enough that you can't count them all. No, don't laugh. The Ostrich Festival attracts hundreds of thousands of people. No way. Activities include ostrich races and ostrich-themed activities and a parade. Hundreds of thousands? That's what it says here. (laughs) Wow. Good Lord. I know ostrich eggs cost a lot of money to... This is... Part Ooh. of the Ostrich Festival. Oh, it's a huge amusement park. It's, they've got a, a big concerts. They've got everything going on. Yeah, yeah it does look legit. They have a stage. They have uh, two or three stages. They've got. It looks uh, like a state fair. The way it was set up. 
The Ostrich Festival, part of Chandler's history, it's based on the colorful early history of ostrich ranching, mm. which included raising yeah. these unusual creatures within the city limits. How about that? So there you go. Race for their eggs? Oh. Their eggs. And their meat? And uh, oh. The you, eggs are big. Can you do anything with ostrich feathers, Christy? Is there any... <laughs> Are there any clothing? <laughs> like, I'm sure you can make something. A boa? Yeah. <laughs> I know. They're long. Uh, they would be really long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Can you like tickle, a skirt. Uh, tickle your ass with an ostrich feather, right? Yeah. Probably, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, is that a thing? Oh, um, yeah. At the bus is station. that a thing? Tickle I remember when ass. I was a kid, there were always, like, jokes about a woman with a feather mm -hmm. and, like, an old man. And I was always like, oh, I guess a feather at some point is incorporated into the bedroom <laughs> when you become an adult. Have you used one? <laughs> no, never. <laughs> but it was always in, like, old Playboy yeah. like, cartoons. <laughs> Tickle them with a the feather. Ostrich <laughs> Festival 2024 main stage lineup. I'm going to hit you with the opener. It's going to be Shaggy. Shaggy? That's yep. right. Shaggy. That's Friday, March 8th. <laughs> Then you got Big Rich and oh, Gretchen Lava Wilson. Lava. Oh. Uh, then you've got Young Gravy, Y-U-N-G. Hmm. You know Young Gravy, right, Tom? Not familiar with his work. You got Chris Lane, and then of course uh, the big one, Winona Judd. Oh. <laughs> wow. At the Ostrich Festival. Okay. There you go. Well, uh, now um, uh, it's so? time to uh, check back in with the sports page. Stupid. Jake, if you were given the chance to <laughs> strangle an ostrich, would you take it? I think I'd have to. And, uh, no. I'm pretty sure I'd never feel more but alive. You have to stare it in the eyes. Oh, There's yeah. no way you could do that they anyway. Could, could, they'd kick <gasps> the, the ostrich, they would. The ostrich would kick the hell out of you. I would think. <laughs> Dangerous. I would think. So and it would, be, it, would be, it would require so much strength to strangle an ostrich. <laughs> I can't yeah. imagine. Do you remember when we ate ostrich on the show? I don't remember that. It's pretty good. Yeah. It made me lean. I don't yeah. remember that. Jump. Does it make me jumpy? No, that doesn't make <laughs> maybe, maybe gave you the runs. I don't know. One of the, <laughs> one of the other jokes. David Crow talking about riding that ostrich is one of the funniest things I've ever heard. Why don't you listen to it on your way home? I okay, will. Thank uh, you. I'm sorry. Where were we, at? we have a world record. <laughs> a Russian figure skater has finally been disqualified. Oh, this isn't a world record. Then why'd you play the music, you I idiot? I don't know. <laughs> You called me an idiot and fun, right? <laughs> yeah. A Russian figure skater has finally been disqualified from the 22 Olympics for doping. They should. This is ridiculous. Camila. Uh, why did this take so long? Valieva, who was then 15 years old, had tested positive for banned heart medicine when she won the gold medal during wow. the Beijing how, Games. How does that help you figure skating? The case provoked legal <laughs> chaos. No, no. Because she, maybe she has a heart condition. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, this is the stupidest story ever. <sighs> I don't know how. I got or this. Why? Yeah. I got this story. Made the national news wire. It's all over Associated Press this morning. Yes. My girl will skate. <laughs> Isn't oh, she, that right? She will skate. But a, this seems like a stupid reason to take. You this. seem like stupid reason. <laughs> <laughs> Woman's a great skater. What, what is the? How does heart medicine help you? May I ask? Uh, uh, blood flow. And you jump makes higher. My when balls right. grow. <laughs> makes you. It's a lady. You I know. <laughs> That's, that is one side effect. My daughter now has balls. Oh, no, 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 no. Like five years down the road, that someone else gets the gold medal. Ballskis. Her disqualification also means the Russians are set to be stripped of the Olympic title, and American skaters are expected to be. Oh, Americans get USA. Olympic USA. Champions. Oh, so now it's okay. Here, baby, tape no, up stupid. your ballskis. <laughs> you are going out there. Tape up those ballskis. You cannot do triple salka with balls hanging low. <laughs> You're it's embarrassment. And they are bigger than mine. Get my God. <laughs> Could you what please comb your mustache? <laughs> what have we done? Stupid. We have world created world. monsters. <laughs> <laughs> this poor girl's named Mila Volva. Well, this is already Mila Volva? Unfortunate name for a woman with balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Irony. Here we go. Um, yes. An 11-year-old boy from Virginia has broken the Guinness World Record for the most ollies on a fingerboard. Ollie. Oh, yeah, those little skateboards. And, and this is exactly what you think it is. There he is. <laughs> I didn't know this was still popular. This is skateboarding. Well, maybe it's not. <laughs> skateboarding with fingers. Fingerboarding? Yep. Julian Kuchma, oh, it says well, here. My daughter will never be fingerboarding. <laughs> yeah. Due, due to her ball. Her testicles <laughs> kicking day. This, guy, this kid's going to become. 
Or he's going to become the greatest masturbator in the history of his school. Oh, he's dexterous, yeah. What? He's 11, oh, Tom. Tom. What, a, what is he oh, doing? Right. I don't understand. Julian Kuchma earned the record <laughs> title after performing a total of 128 so Tom, ollies in 60 there, seconds. It really does look like a mini, there Here he goes. Goes. A Here miniature he goes. skateboard. It's exactly just, what you <laughs> think it is. Well, that's, that's so ridiculous. Well, I don't guess there's any uh, but there danger is some of skill there. Uh, is falling there. over. Look at that. Uh-huh. We couldn't do that. No, there's you not. <laughs> you couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. No. You could do a, you could do a rail Let on that. Let me tell you something. Give me a, a, a sticky tape, and I'll be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, the, a, yeah, that's pretty good. That's ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. It's rad. Julian says Drag. fingerboarding is very similar to skateboarding, but instead of using your legs and your feet, you use your fingers. Yeah. Does this douche wear a helmet? <laughs> All right. Girls are going to watch him do this. He'll go to every dance, I'll tell you All that. All right. He's never going to be dateless. Would you like to find my diddler? Uh, Guess which fingers? Would my you like? Finger? Who was that girl? I don't. And what? Would you like to find my diddler? And why is, why is this kid from Russia or Germany or whatever you're doing? It's the same stupid. What a dumb thing to do. No way. I, it's fun. I mean, it would be one thing if you're doing some interesting, like maybe learning how to deal cards or you know, deal light of hand oh, magic, do, do close up magic. Deal cards. Yeah. Yeah, give me a dealer in Vegas. That guy's got it together. Yeah, I'll tell you what. That's I, right. I bet this kid, he turns 16, smells like vag. And Ollie. I bet, <laughs> I bet he could do more with one hand. I said loud enough that the kid's 11 four yeah. times. Yeah, uh-huh. but uh, yeah, you, you hear did. Tom generously bumped him up to 15 or 16. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's five years. And old. Ollie is, is a trick where you lift the board up so that all four wheels are off the surface. Not easy. With his fingers. Yeah, if you're on a skateboard, sure. But if you're doing it with your hand, what's the point? None of us could do it. I'm telling you. And a tiny. So what? Little... <laughs> I couldn't set my ass on fire either. I bet you I sure could. could. You give me a fingerboard, I bet I could ollie right now. I, you would actually figure it out, I think. If anybody, it would be you because you fidget with your fidget spinners. Oh, I'm and fidgety. Yeah. yeah. You'd I be. My, um, I keep loading. You'd be the I'm... greatest. You'd be Muhammad Ali. <laughs> oh yeah, he's doing ollies. Oh, yes. Uh, so you'd be Muhammad Ali. And, and laughing like, like it's This is such a stupid funny. story. This kid, I... I, I applaud you, kid. Uh, I do, too. It's, w- w- it's, it's all downhill from from here for you, son. <laughs> no way. What? He's oh, got the world by the... He'll be 25 he years won. old. He's got a world but, record. I'm, I'm you know, my daughter has world by <laughs> testicles, <laughs> but not as big as her testicles. <laughs> They took away her gold medal. <laughs> no one finger. Hairy like gerbils. Uh, <laughs> now, Christy, don't you think yes. this poor girl should be able to keep her medal for God's sake? She won. What is it? Not if she has been convicted of doping. No. In figure skating? How does yeah. that help? They must have it, the rules for can, a reason. I doubt it. <laughs> In figure skating, I'm sure, as Chick said, Thank if you're you. on a heart medication, it makes your blood flow quicker and you'd get more oxygen, so you'd have more... Energy, I guess. It's in Russia. Doesn't have uh, arbitrary, strict rules. Uh, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. Well, I, it's, it's. I don't know. It just seems. Isn't there like? Uh, shouldn't some of these cases be solved rather quickly? Isn't justice supposed to be quick? Heart oh, medicine. Oh, that's... oh, wait a minute. I forgot. I'm in America where everything <laughs> takes six no. years. Okay. The heart medicine in question is called trimetatazine. It's thought to give endurance athletes a boost because See? it may help the heart work more efficiently. Well, oh, she gotcha. she was a go. figure skater, not a sprinter. Oh, my gosh. Have you it's, tried to figure I would skate? Think it's like, what do you mean? It's that essentially has the same. nothing to do with the I argument. Take, I take maxotidazine all the time <laughs> for my heart condition. <laughs> Tat, how tatazine big, time. Uh, how big are those uh, <laughs> titazines? They're, mat, they're max. <laughs> I might get a look at those. <laughs> okay. My daughter has nice titazines, but, <laughs> but for the balls. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> yeah. off, they are often neglected. She takes, <laughs> she takes gonads with a Z. <laughs> it's, a, it's, I, it's an awful. Off label. Her mother off and label I, use makes we, them very hairy. We've lost our way. I very regret. I was going to try to make some sense out of this, but there's no use. I'll make sense out of it. No, you. I, I, yeah. you don't have balls, do you? Figure skating, if you do long program, <laughs> okay, you don't great, think that's but, like running a no, marathon? No, but it's got to be. It shouldn't take three years to uh, well, ban I, uh, the girl. It took him three years to catch me. I'm sure she <laughs> We have to... Okay, we're taking a break. Yeah, yep. we're we're just don't even need any gonna, dumber stories than that. We're going to fight back? each other. I'm leaving. <laughs> one, more, one more world record. Uh, better be a good one. We have a, a request for some camel toe coming up. I need to see that girl's balls. And, if uh, only my daughter had camel toe. And instead we have, of we two have, huge balls. We have, we have, we have, 
Wizard of Oz news. <laughs> I like that guy. Hey, you know, the <laughs> scarecrow on the line. And okay. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. to the wildly successful Mr. Obvious Show. <laughs> I'm your host, Mr. Obvious. Let's take a call. Hello, Mr. Obvious Show. Uh, hello, is this Mr. Obvious? Speaking. Hi, Mr. Obvious. Uh, Long-time listener, first-time caller. Uh-huh. Uh, I just want to say, uh, first of all, I really love your show. Really enjoy listening to it. I think you do a great job. Well, kind words indeed. And thank you, caller, for calling the Mr. Uh, Obvious Show. No, Mr. Obvious? Yes. Uh, here's my problem. Oh, Okay. Well, thing is, uh, I think I got some kind of animal uh, trapped in my house. Oh, yeah, like a pest problem or something. Yeah, uh-huh. um, well, it's it's even bigger than that. Uh, I think it's some kind of critter that's trapped down uh, underneath my sink somewhere. Oh my! Now, do you live in a rural section of town? Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, uh-huh. I live on the outskirts of town here, and. Uh, well, here's the thing. I think it's caught underneath my sink, and I've opened the doors and, and my cabinets there and looked underneath, and I can't find it anywhere, but I can hear him down there making noise. Oh, you say you got a critter and you can hear him. Now, what what yep. kind of sound does he make, caller? Um, well, it's kind of a growling, kind of a... Uh, well, I'll try to imitate it for you. It's kind of like... <laughs> I don't like that. Uh huh. Uh, this is under your sink in your kitchen? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it sounds like you might be caught down there in the pipes. <laughs> now, this is not uncommon for your uh, rurally located homes to have a raccoon or a possum uh, under the house. Now, but you say he might be stuck in the pipes? Yeah, that's what it seems like because, uh, in fact, I think that's how he's living there. Uh, he seems to eat stuff that my wife throws away down the sink after dinner. She'll, <laughs> she'll wash the leftovers down the sink uh, after we get done eating. I think that's what he's eating because I can hear him down there growling and uh, chewing. Huh. What was the sound again, caller? Well, it's uh, she'll put the stuff down there in the sink and run the water, and then uh, you can hear him. It's kind of going... <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Huh. Now, is there anything else that corresponds with the uh, the growling that your wife does there in the kitchen? Huh. Um, well, it, it does seem like uh, it usually happens whenever she tries to turn the light on. There's a light switch there. She'll try to turn it on. Uh-huh. Uh, thing is, the light don't come on. Um, huh. I, I, I think the light bulb must be burnt out or something, but I can't even find a place to change the light bulb on it. <laughs> Anyway, she'll try to turn that light switch on, and uh, you can hear him down there. Just um, seems to make him mad as anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is in the kitchen under the sink, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. And, uh, you know, I, I, I figure he's caught in the pipes. <laughs> right. So I figured I'd try to get him out of there. Uh-huh. Well, I reached down there with my hands when I heard him growling. Uh-oh. And I mean, that thing about ripped my fingers off. Bit into me. Boy, it hurt. Well, I think I know what your problem is, caller. It's, uh, it's a garbage disposal. So, uh, uh is that, uh, something, something like a raccoon? No, caller, it's, uh... No, it's something, something littler like a, uh, like a mouse. <laughs> no, caller, it's a machine that's hooked to your, uh, your drain pipe there under your sink that chews up, uh, 
uh, food that uh, makes it rinse right down the pipe there. It's an actual machine. It's not an animal at all. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I never made the connection. Just, just get rid of the garbage. There you go. Sounds like a critter. Just, uh, no, no, no. I, no. I, I know, yeah, it's not a critter. It's a, thanks for calling, though, caller. Mr. Obvious? Yes. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Uh, that'll do it for this week's show. Uh, thank you, and uh, good luck uh, from everyone here on the Mr. Obvious Show. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, yes. uh, boy, I got it in myself that time. You know, I think I'm on a, I'm on a roll here. I'm, you know, but uh, women, women have such a hard time achieving orgasm. I, 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 I uh, um, maybe it's because you got a big, fat, sweaty guy on top of you. <laughs> I would break my. That's the voice of Chris Porter. I knew he'd weigh in with something important. Chris Porter, comedian. Now, do you get back to Kansas City often? Or are you? Uh, I get back to Kansas City. I was back last April for a wedding. Okay. Through a bunch of weird experiences, I've become friends with Justin Verlander. He's a pitcher for the sure. oh, yeah, sure. Houston Astros. Yeah. At the time, he was pitching for the Tigers. Aaron Town playing the Royals, but they had a night off, so he and I went out and had a couple of drinks. And, and he said, no, watch this. He calls the waiter over. He goes, who's that chick? And he goes, well, I don't know who the chick is, but everyone at that table is Mumford and Sons. He sends them a bottle. They come over. Turns out it's not Mumford and Sons. <laughs> it's just Ann Sons. <laughs> Oh. Mumford wasn't there. I don't know where he was. I assume oh. he was back at the hotel writing a song that at some point goes, ah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Mark Sweeney. Hell's on the way. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We've there got, we go. We've got somewhat of, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's just forget <laughs> what's happened up till now. Sure, it's been awful. Let's just put it behind us. <laughs> oh. Uh, especially it, uh, Tony Roma, who used the word reset every play? Uh. Reset. Uh, reset. Uh, Quarterback, you need resets. Uh, uh, no. so, the, you want a nice tabula rosa, as it were? Oh, look at Mr. <laughs> uh, Falladio. Dr. Dr. Raymond Falladio, our... Uh, our uh, <laughs> that was Richard Falladio. That's his brother. Um, no, it's Richard Cranium. Uh, now, um... Dickhead. We are... Uh, <laughs> what? Thank you. Thank you for the subtlety. Uh, how about this? Um... This happened last year, and I don't know how we m missed this, but the, it's an update on the zebra situation, kind of, sort of. Mm -hmm. Officials initially thought uh, a zebra... Um, I'm sorry. Ohio man has nearly loses his arm in zebra attack at an Ohio farm. I remember the story. Uh, uh, how did he almost lose his arm? Oh, I remember that. Yeah. An Ohio farm owner hospitalized one of his zebras, attacked him, and nearly took his arm off. Yeah. What? Deputies say Pickway County Sheriff's Office found a 72-year-old man on the ground. They responded to a call about an animal bite. <gasps> 5.30 near Circleville. Oh, round town. They have a pumpkin festival there. I know right where this is. Oh, Circleville. Uh, the owner had been burning brush when he turned his back and the zebra attacked him. Man. Didn't the zebra know that you're not supposed to bite the hand that feeds you? Uh, he doesn't. He God. said there were six to seven zebras in a fenced-in area on the property. An officer positioned a cruiser in an attempt to block the zebras from the victim, but... A very hostile large male zebra charged the driver's side door of the vehicle. Ooh. The victim was found with a hemorrhage to his right arm. Uh, yeah, I would imagine so. Bite oh. and uh, below the elbow and taken away by ambulance. Ooh. Jeez. Uh, let's see. The zebra was aggressive, most likely because it was protective of the other zebras in the field. Oh, okay. Yes. All of those females. Yep, he was protecting his... Poo. Say it. Say it. <laughs> well, he's the zebra. The zebra. That he, he's been incarcerated. His hair. Oh, he, he has been. Yeah. yeah. You see him that striped suit. <laughs> oh. No, you can't see him. He looks just like he did when he's in the field. Uh, 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 the family authorized deputies and the. Uh, oh no 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 no! They didn't take him down. Zebra was uh, put down, shot and killed. What? 
Well, now it has the taste for blood. You have to. You have no. to. It's going to go around biting people because it has it the taste one for it. Yeah. Uh, actually, the, the officer walked up to him and said, oh, God, look, 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 look at the ducks. Look, look for the ducks. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, you guys. I, I, I see them. Oh, he didn't, it takes more than one bullet to yeah, take them to zebra. Well, I mean, since we're talking zebras, let's talk zebras. Um, this is pretty funny. A recent study has found that cows painted to look like zebras are less vulnerable to flies. <laughs> wow. Really? Oh, are Research- cows, a lot of them black and white like zebras anyway? Not s- Researchers found that uh, cows painted with stripes were 50% less likely to get horsefly bites okay. than their unpainted counterparts. I wonder why the horseflies wait, don't like stripes. Wait a minute. Is it... Is it... The paint? Is it the smell of the paint? No. Is it the actual paint? But researchers it, You're concluded, saying it's the appearance of the I'm cows. not. These scientists are saying that. Hmm. Right. This is from CNN. Okay. Maybe the black stripes look like nothing. Like they're like, oh, there's nothing there. I'll land on the white. And so now they're only getting bit half the time. But cows, a lot of cows are black and white. That's what but I'm that's, saying. But that's stripes, it's the stripes, I think. Yeah. How and it that? says, here, let me finish. It says, striped paint could help farmers use less pesticides. They would need uh, need to, sp- to spray the cows uh, fewer times. So this is why, by the way, um, in outdoor football games, the referees don't have to use off. <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> no, did you know that, Christy? No. <laughs> I said it before. I'll say it. You're on fire today. <laughs> this is what happens when you Google zebras. Good God. I have a lot of questions about that. That's a w- really bizarre. You ever been bitten by a horse fly? Yes. It hurts. Oh, really? Horrible. Yeah. It hurts. Not good. Yeah. Ever go into a into a horse barn and they've got those those uh, what do you call them those no pest strips mm-hmm. hanging fly strips yeah. and, and there, there are there are flies and they're the size of golf oh, balls. Yeah. Those are disgusting, mm-hmm. right? They mm-hmm. Leave those hanging around. Fly right paper. Yeah. No, I wonder if you yeah. pa- if you paint uh, th- this experiment. This was actually done. If you paint the cows to look like zebras, and then you let a zebra go in the cow field, will the zebra th- think that they're other zebras? I doubt I it. don't think I smell I think yeah. in the animal world has more to do. Oh, so you're not going to get like a you know. Oh, you're not going to get a a, okay. a, zow? a zeb- Yeah. A zebo? <laughs> <laughs> a zabao? A zabao? Okay. Well, there we go. That's our zebra hunk once again in honor of the uh zebras that were let loose by mistake. Okay. Yeah, Greg uh, Warren called us yesterday with his report on zebras and We didn't let him We talk. barely let him know. Uh, yeah. He and here we are all day. All we've been yeah, about he that. probably would have told us all these facts. We didn't uh, yeah, let no. him speak. I doubt it. We found all the interesting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> when, oh, when did Greg uh, when did Greg call? Yesterday. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know that you can see Greg Warren this weekend Where? at the Stress Factory in New Brunswick, New Jersey, of course, the home of the bowling pin. Ah. And then um, <laughs> he's going to be at Comedy Off Broadway in Lexington. February 14th through the 17th. Those are do not miss shows. He's oh, the Valentine's best. Day date. Then at the Funny Bone in Dayton, uh, uh, Greg Warren, the 23rd and 24th uh, in uh, Dayton, Ohio, for some great live comedy. Or you can watch him on the TV with uh, The Salesman as one of his uh, great features and then Where the Field Corn <laughs> Grows. Um, did you have something else you wanted to get One more. In? Stupid world record. Oh. This better be good, he says. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Heckling yourself, you realize. Right? Oh, what do you mean? He's threatening you. Now this one, this we, better be good. We're gonna have, we're gonna have to come back with this because I have audio. Will you stop oh. reading along? Can you just let it go? And, well, and I have be audio. In the show. No, I have audio for this one. Oh, I have I have audio too. The Joker ain't the only fool who do, do anything for you. Do you actually know the lyrics to that? Sure. I genuinely like that song, Tom. Do you know? Yes. Ah, okay. Your thoughts. Uh, My brothers and I would roll. I'd rather state have to... a case listen of farts. Listen, <laughs> listen to <laughs> then listen to the Queen of Farts. Tom, yeah. Josh and his three brothers would go down into their basement <laughs> and put on Juice Newton. And roller skate around the bed. Good for you. And my dad would <laughs> go sit out in the backyard and wish he were still a knob. <laughs> Smoking cigarettes, yeah, drinking yeah. beer, going, yeah, uh, boy. I'd seriously. rather be shot at. <laughs> yeah, smoking, smoking Marlboro Reds, thinking about carrying around his weapon. When we come back, uh, we'll, once again, as Christy said, reset. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix. 
Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to uh, rejoin our friends uh, from the afterlife. The great band Here Come the Mummies are joining us. There you they can, are. By the way, you can watch them on... Um, on YouTube right now in our studios. We're and, here, uh, baby. Yeah, there we go. There, that's Mummy Cass is the spokes mummy, um, along with uh, an aggregation of the dead. Uh, and uh, you got one more song for us? I know we got a few more coming, but we can get one in right now if that works for you, Mummy oh, Cass. Yeah, baby, this song's about credit cards. What's in your wallet? You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Yeah.
<laughs> the Essential Morning Radio. All day and all night. Some like fun, some like Schmitz, but for me, it's Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Uh, you know, I travel a lot. It tends to mitigate. And also, it comes out more when I'm drinking. Uh-huh. And since this is a morning show, that, that was tough. Okay. Uh-huh. I think I'll get my own cologne. I will. It'll be a smell maybe of bourbon sweat and marijuana. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just to cover up the smell of bourbon sweat and marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be fresh and smell good. It smells too much like bourbon sweat and marijuana. <laughs> Hope. The pleasant fragrance. Yes. Brought to you by Dude. <laughs> dude. Mm-hmm. Relax all. If you if you want to drink, we have a sales okay, department here. Uh, do we ever? There's plenty of yeah. uh, there's plenty of alcohol I, down I the I love hall. drinking. Mm-hmm. I just I get sick and tired of being bossed around by bourbon every night. <laughs> you know, these voices in my head. Punch that guy. Have sex with that girl. Eat that burger. Pee here. Turn left. Shut <laughs> 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 Figure it out myself. <laughs> <laughs> Comedian Bobcat Goldthwaite is here with us. I like goofy movies. Huh? I didn't see Phantom Menace or the uh, Attack of the Clones mm-hmm. because uh, I'm 40 years old and I've been <laughs> so Star Wars, the Lord of the Rings, you know, none of that stuff really. But like a jerk, I went to the Star Wars re-release. Have any of you nerds ever seen a <laughs> <laughs> Could you pick a out of a police lineup. If I had a and a donut and a mop, could you tell me the difference between these things? Because the day you actually see one, you're going to throw that stormtrooper cookie jar right out the window. You're going to go, what was I thinking about? I, go, I don't know. We've been trying to tell you about it for years. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Well, shoot me when the beer runs out. Give him a uh, ring. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. That's me on the Farfisa. <laughs> There's uh, Christy Lee at the Hello. news desk. There's Pat Godman. Yeah. Oh, Godwin, I'm sorry. Close enough. Godwin, he's over there in the performance room. We're about due for a uh, a song from... A song from Pat. There's Josh Arnold. He's the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Howdy. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm getting ready for that Ace Cosby joke of the day. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Uh, when you say getting ready, don't you mean ready? Who's oh! yeah. with a deep voice. Yeah. Ace Cosby, <laughs> here he is with his joke of the day. How to get a one-armed man out of a tree. How? You wave at him. <laughs> that was Ace Cosby. Yeah, they let go of the branch there, and, and he falls. Uh, and yeah. falls to the ground. You know, breaks, the breaks his neck and dies. The, the most famous one-armed man, of course. Um. <laughs> I know. Well, Thank you. A QM production starring David Jansen as the, the fugitive. fugitive. Okay, With, sorry. Ace Cosby's <laughs> joke of the day brought to you by the good folks at Sleep Number. You can save 50% during the President's Day sale on a limited edition smart bed only at Sleep Number stores near you or at sleepnumber.com. What was uh, happening there uh, in the fugitive intro? L- let it go. It's David Jansen as a fugitive and then they were going to... Barry Morse, isn't he, Lieutenant Gerard? Well, why did you cut it off? I thought you guys didn't like my fugitive obsession. No. <laughs> we love that. I think the that. adventures of uh, Dr. Kimball are very... D- Dr. Richard Kimball. That's right. Oh. That's right. <laughs> and uh, as portrayed in the movies by Harrison Ford. Mm-hmm. Remember who his nemesis was? In the movie? Yeah. Tommy Lee Jones? Tommy Lee Jones. But he really, you know, he, he wasn't yeah, uh, a bad guy per yeah, se. Right. He just had a job to do. Yeah. He didn't care if Richard Kimball any... was innocent. That's but right. He sure didn't. Anybody calls him TLJ. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee. Boy, I don't know. I don't yo, yo, so. TLJ. Yeah. I, I know I'd call him Mr. Jones if I met him, I know, which I'd love to meet him. He's one of my all-time favorite oh, actors. Yeah. And his wife, Mrs. Jones. Me and Mrs. Oh. Jones. <laughs> wow. Hmm. We're hitting them all. <laughs> it's going to be hello, dear. Yeah, no time. here we go. No, hello, he would no. oh. I think Tommy Lee Jones would react if you like, put a whoopee cushion in his chair. And he's not down. well. You, you think he'd care for that at all? <laughs> no. Remember that scene in uh, No Country for Old when they out, <laughs> everybody's shot and dead, and they're walk, they're riding their horses around, and, and uh, the deputy goes, "Oh man, this sure is a mess." And Tom, well, if it ain't a mess, it'll do till one gets it. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah. The, the deputy goes, yeah, I guess this fellow was over here, and this guy was here, and whoa differences. <laughs> this, this, whoa differences. This man over here looks to be in some sort of managerial <laughs> position. <Yeah. laughs> oh, I better get moving before he yells at me. Stupid world record. <laughs> A teenager from India has broken the Guinness World Record for the most languages sung in a concert. <laughs> oh, really? Most languages sang in a concert, sung in a concert. Sung, How many? Sing, sang, sung. Sung's okay. Sung, sung, blue. Everybody, Everybody knows one. I love that song. Uh, uh, the uh, teenager's name, Ms. Ms. Period, Ms. Suck a she, such, <laughs> suck a try. So she, so so she. What? S U. Yeah. C H E T. Let's suck it. H A. Suck it, huh? Suck it, huh? Last name. Sat. Sa just uh, blast through it like you know what you're doing. Satish. S A T I S H. Satish. And what's she doing now? <laughs> this she sang a song well. with the most languages? Sang in an impressive... Hang on a second. <laughs> okay. Sang in 140 different languages to raise awareness about climate change. And who's this? Mrs. Suffering Suck Attach? <laughs> <laughs> the 18-year-old's nine-hour-long concert. Oh. Boy, that had to be fun. Did they give her parents an award for uh, having to deal with that? Uh, How old did you say? 18. 18. Oh. Oh. Hey, is Suchetta's in the basement singing in Spanish again. Mm. What you upset about the clouds? In, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, this next, she's now she's singing in Klingon. <laughs> yeah. This year it was foggier. Half a percent more than it was 20 years ago. Hey, she's singing in Pig Latin. <laughs> I, I like Pig Latin. That's a... Esperanto. <laughs> I wonder. If, I wonder if that was in there. Is, it, is there still some college professor that is clinging to Esperanto as the savior of all culture? And I hope so. We're all going to get together. And we're all going to start speaking Esperanto. <laughs> right. What's, uh, What's Esperanto? It was it's meant to be like language. a universal language. Well, to okay. Get, to get everybody to get together, and we would all learn it. Come on, people! Now, instead of Come instead on, of speaking brother. English, we'd have to speak Esperanto. Right. Does anybody speak Esperanto? I'm just asking. There's, I'm I sure think there's, it's, I, there's no. some, you know, jackass that <laughs> didn't catch on like the Euro. You know, still, yeah. Yeah. still trying to do We Are the World in Esperanto <laughs> English, <laughs> somewhere. do you speak it? <laughs> the guidelines of the record say that each song uh, must be at least two minutes long and allow for a five-minute break each hour. Yeah, but she cheated. She did several instrumentals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that is yeah, this, this instrumental in Greek. Well, then, hi, you know. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Hmm. Here's um, I've got some of the uh, no. Audio. This is real. No. Yes. Here we go. Oh. What oh, what language is we know? Maybe some kind of Farsi or. Uh, what is wrong with him? <laughs> this isn't bad. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah, it is. Here we go. Oh, that's a mouse singing. That's nice. This sounds. This reminds me, I would go to my my uh, one of my best friends, Brajul. I'd go to his family's for dinner. Yes. And this kind of music would be playing, and we'd Is be eating right? uh, a wonderful music? Indian mm -hmm. meal. Mm -hmm. Okay, that I was, was the only one. Was that Indian? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's what that's just what it sounds like. I thought well, the cool part um, is when she decided to sing in English. Um, I thought her choice of this song was great. <laughs> that would be so fun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Well, we have hit all his favorites today. Ladies and gentlemen. The Rivingtons. Come on, babies. Babies. I can't understand a single word. A little loud. First record I ever bought. <laughs> Why? The name of the band, uh, Pat? I don't know. You the just said the, it. The Rivingtons. You just oh, the said Rivingtons. the Rivingtons. He, he and I, did, yeah. I, I met, and I met a couple. <laughs> oh, this God. is true. Uh, that had named their kid Rivington, and I said, "Oh, did you name him after the great band, the Rivingtons?" They never even heard of it. <laughs> Can you believe it? They'd never heard of it. They'd never heard of a marginal song from 70 years ago. <laughs> did they have a follow-up hit. <laughs> That's insane. That's a great song. I prefer wow. the Trashmen's homage to that, but uh, no, 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 no. That's the original, the OG, as the kids say. 
The Trashman's the original? No, no, no. No, no that's ba what I'm saying. Ba -ba yeah, the tra Trashman. I mean, those homage. lyrics, those lyrics are better than the lyrics to any song by that band America you played before. I totally disagree. It's Wonderful. The lyrics. lizards oh. in the air in this something that rhymed quickly. Maybe the lizards were in the air because uh... it was cold <laughs> and they were falling <laughs> out of the trees. Okay. <laughs> so the, this lady sings in 140 languages. And... Good for her. That's a skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah she does. And in then what we were subjected. What do you mean in what way? She knows all these languages. She has a good voice. Hmm? Okay, you're an overachiever. Thanks. Next. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's right. Let's keep promoting the underachievers. Well, I think we should. <laughs> gibberish, gibberish. <laughs> Me? Or her? I, I, her. I'm, I'm singing okay. like she does. Is that, uh, is that sports? <laughs> is that sports? <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, Rocky, this is what you're for. There we go, whatever you do. Always next. Be a good sport. Uh, Tom. Yes, sir. How much would you pay? Remember, one of your favorite bits is Curly in a dress singing uh, opera. Yeah, I, it's um, the Three Stooges. He goes. Would you? Sounds like Julia Would you Ty. pay to see <laughs> Chick do that in front of twenty thousand people? I'd pay to see him do it in front of a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> would in you a, pay in me a, in a dress? You pay me and I'll do it. And a big. Remember, he's got the big wig on, and he's oh, so that's. And, what, and you have to sing just like you just were. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Is that? The, <laughs> That's, it. that's that's the melody, more or less. That's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Is that right? I still remember it from being a kid. Oh, I love there, it, too. There are <laughs> so many funny things out there. And you two are... You're holding on to that? ...are parked at the Three no, Stooges. A, a, a stout man pretending to be a woman in front of a bunch of... A rich, stout man pretending to be a woman. In thumbing of, his nose. Yes, thumbing his nose at, yeah. the, at, the, uh, at the super the rich The upper people. crust. Oh, God, that's so funny. Yes. A pie fight? Oh, How nothing. How can you not laugh at the Three Stooges? I love a pie fight. I find it incredibly easy. Have you been in a pie fight? I haven't. Mm -hmm. You know, that's right. She brings up a good point. You wouldn't think that pie fight... Why don't fight... the two of you have a pie fight? I, I had to film that TV commercial. I got pies in the face for three hours. Oh, that's right. Oh. Tell you what, until you've been in a pie fight and your best friend... Taken down by a lemon meringue. <laughs> yeah. You, that, you, you yeah. take that goo and right. wipe it off his face. Right. You stick your hand in his face and you... Just a bunch of goo. And you say, you're going to love the part where we cram the watch up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same movie? I don't Why know. are they it's putting the watch up his butt? <laughs> he's he's getting his we had war uh, oh, stories. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. George C. Scott and Pulp Fiction somehow. I'm oh, oh, I'm sorry. Those two different movies. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. You've seen uh, you've seen Pat. I haven't Marcus. seen either of those films. No. What? And I say I. You've never seen. No, I don't like. Pulp you Fiction. know me. I don't like gore or violence or war. Or... You don't like Al Gore. I didn't say that. <laughs> oh. I like puppy really? dogs and really? rainbows. <laughs> we have our, uh, we have our music over there. Everything's gonna be fine. Yeah. Um, oh, the uh, rose-colored uh, glasses. That's um, how I live my glove, life. Gloved HJ. <laughs> <laughs> a, glo a nice gloved H.J. Yeah. That's right. There should be, is that a character's name, H. Gl H. J. Glover? <laughs> I'm not going to put my mouth great... on that. P comes out of there. Excuse me. Could you be less explicit in your... Is that me? Is that me? In your I'm sorry. Have you heard that? Uh, I'm sorry. God. Okay. I'll find the Christie world. One of the illegal entanglements that I was in. Oh, Jesus. Right. Okay. Sorry, now, I didn't uh, know that. Uh, Christy Lee, what's coming up? Oh, uh, we have uh, some big... Some big... <laughs> sorry. We have some big Amelia Earhart news. Oh, we have a naked women. She weighed 250 women pounds when she died. That's why her plan was That's right. right. <laughs> Lied about her weight. Um, we got, wait a minute. And, uh, let's introduce... It's Christy again. Christy looking ahead. That's it. Oh, yes. oh it's so hopeful. Oh, look, yeah. President Kennedy. He never got shot in Dallas, and he's still president today. And he he's wants a, to make love to me? He's 106. <laughs> if you're out there looking for love and you've been to therapy, that might just be a turn-on for some. We'll have more on that coming up. A turn-on? Yes. Plus, we got our NFL report uh, from Kostaki Economopolis. He's only got two teams left. Thanks for the warning. To insult. <laughs> oh, no. Right now, I want to talk about uh, helping you have a great 2024. You got some food goals. Perhaps uh, you're uh, interested in something uh, maybe in the low-calorie uh, menu or perhaps uh, low-carb or perhaps just maybe good old-fashioned comfort food. HelloFresh has got everything. And to get you get rid of that boring stuff that you're eating night after night. It's like your, your food life has become like that movie Groundhog Day. Oh, this again? 
and stop wasting all that time at the grocery store. A few nights a week, check out HelloFresh. The box arrives. Everything you need is in it. Fresh ingredients. And um, you just put it together. They've done the measuring for you. So you don't have to buy a whole jar of horseradish when you only need a dollop, if that's what the particular recipe requires. Find out what I'm talking about by going to HelloFresh.com slash BT Show free. Why the code BT Show free? Because a free breakfast for life while you keep that subscription active. Find out what I'm talking about. More than 40 recipes every week. Christy, what did you work on? What's oh, that? you know what? I love figs. A lot of people go, what do I do with figs? Well, how about the figgy balsamic pork with roasted green beans and rosemary potatoes? Under 30 minutes, two pans, six easy steps, and you have a wonderful meal from HelloFresh. And boy, if you've never tried figs, you'll love it. Very and uh, if you want, just want good old-fashioned comfort food, they got plenty of that, too. Now, uh, here's what you do. You go to HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. That code will get you that one breakfast item per box with an active prescription forever. Once again, it's BT Show Free at HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Have a great 2024 and celebrate with uh, just shaking up your uh, food life a little bit. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. You'll become a better cook, and it's easy because they've got pictures and all the ingredients are right there. And uh, we're going to come right back with Mr. Economopolis. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you are... And uh, can we talk music for just a second? Sure. You got a lot of TV stuff going on, of course, but uh, this all started for you as a musician, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and now uh, let's go way, way back. Uh, first, very first band that actually had a gig that you were in. Um, that was Laser. And let me explain the ridiculousness of the comedy of errors. It is my life. <laughs> we decided we wanted the ACDC lightning bolt slash kiss Z. Mm -hmm. It was like an S. So we were Laser L A Z. E -R. Right. Mm -hmm. Then we had no money for a backdrop like Kiss had, right? So we decided right. we took one of the old school, I'm going way back, old school bed sheets. You remember they used to make those 3D looking bedspreads that have like a tiger mm -hmm. or a, so we had the band laser with a tiger backdrop. That was our backdrop. And then we went to Chess King. Where oh, we yeah. bought love this? Yes, yes, oh, yes. yes. We yes. Are they the even <laughs> still around? No, no, no wait, I no, wait. So. I'm going back a few. I know years. you are. Yeah. The uh, I got our members only jackets, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, we stopped nice. into Chess King yes. at the Capital City Mall, and they only had three of the four 
uh, aluminum foil looking members only chromish jackets mm-hmm. and three of the four members had to walk around with it and the other member the drummer <clears throat> was left out and then we would change off the jackets and we had our first gig in, in Marlin or my friend Marlin at Yon's basement charged 25 cents and about six of the neighborhood kids came down uh, and we played a couple kiss songs and then what we didn't know we just put the record on Played along. You know, we, we, played along. Like, we don't know all of this song. Yeah, we had the beginning we'll... of Rock and Roll All Night. <laughs> and then we, went to the, we referenced the album sure. after that. <laughs> Look oh, at that. Great. Laser. Laser. And what, did, may I ask what particular hair configuration was happening for you at it that was, point? It uh, was, again, a combination of awful. We hadn't gotten that far. <laughs> a combination of awful, awful. And, and awful. We hadn't gotten That's the other part. Uh, yeah, no, there was, it wasn't good. <laughs> I know that a little bit. You know? Uh-oh, we have a phone call. Hold on. Right Bob and Tom right show. Hey, man, it's Donnie. Bye. Hey, Donnie. Hey, Hang on one second, Donnie. We got a uh, we got a special I guest in the studio. Hey, hey, is Brett there? He's uh, here. He's Brett's here. here. Yeah. You go. Hey, Donnie. Thought you would aim poison, just like Journey with that Puerto Rican from Mexico. I'll say it right to Neil. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> well, Christy, could you make what? it any more obvious? What? We're just talking to work, making fun of you. Why? What are you talking about? Is that Hur- Hurricane Earl in your panties? You just happy to see him today? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thanks, Donnie. All right, thank yeah. you, Donnie. Thanks. Oh yeah. Thanks very much. Hurricane uh, Earl. How far a golf cart can go on a lake before it sinks? <laughs> 13 feet! <laughs> I love golf. What a sport. It's a good sport, because if you yell four, you get to hit people with your ball. <laughs> that is nice. People with houses on the golf course, they're always complaining, you know, if you bounce mm. the ball off their roof. They should shut up and wear a helmet, because I am playing through, buddy. <laughs> I'm hitting patio furniture, bird feeders, I'm digging up cable. <laughs> I'm not afraid to take a divot. They call me the farmer! Yeah. I can't stand the endorsements that come after that, because everybody's going to have their own shoe, and selling shoes and telling these kids to buy shoes because honestly I don't care what kind of shoe an athlete wears and neither should you. My question is what kind of shoe does a black surgeon or lawyer wear? (laughs) What is Johnny Cochran wearing? That should be the commercial. (laughs) When you can get a brother off a double homicide the whole world knows he's guilty of, Uh that's a bad shoe. Listening to Bob and Tom Radio 24-7. Yikes! <laughs> Is that helpful? <laughs> I'm not prepared. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Of course, we got that uh, super duper, unbelievable, holy hell, Super Bowl coming up. Oh, uh, yeah. And there oh, we boy, go. That's... And now we have uh, Kostaki. Once Ooh. again, uh, for those of you that can't see Kostaki, he's being broadcast in our facility on a large screen TV, but it looks like you're the the, the secret square on the Hollywood squares. You've got that blue background with a nice frame on it. Uh, nice to see you, Kostaki. What's the t-shirt say? Good morning. It says All Pro Lines. Look at that. Oh, that's that's the name of your oh, feature nice. on the internet, All Pro Lines. I figured it was probably some socialist it's thing. vintage. But I like nice it. To come, see that it's, come, uh, find us, <laughs> come find us on the Facebook page. You need to uh, put a sheet over your head, see if that uh, uh, thickens the sound up a little bit. No, uh, you sound good. Oh, is it a little? No, no, no. Hang, hang on. Hang on. Go get a blanket. Go get a blanket. And put no, it you're fine, Kostaki. <laughs> now, uh, Kostaki, All Pro Lines is uh, a source for uh, the, the lighter side of the NFL, <laughs> shall That's we right. say. Uh, and, That's and right. Once again, Kostaki uh, travels the country insulting your favorite team. Yeah. Yes. I don't yes. think there's it's any fun. team you didn't uh, take off on this year, which is that uh, uh, you should be proud of that. Nobody, yeah. No team took it harder than the Atlanta Falcons. Every year I make fun of my team the most. But uh, I was just in Michigan, and they were they were great. They were so excited about the football. And I'd never been to Michigan when they were so happy about football outcomes. So I, I'm sorry they're not going forward, but they're in a good place. And uh, it's fun. People out there are enjoying the football. It's nice. Yeah, it would have been a great story. I'm yeah. kind of mad myself. But, uh, oh, well. I know. Me too. That's who I was rooting for. Uh, now, I did want to say before we move forward here, that uh, Saturday, February 10th at uh, the Hastings Auditorium in Hastings, Nebraska. It's Mr. Kostaki Economopoulos for some stand-up comedy. Then Saturday, the 24th of February, Evansville, uh, Indiana, at O'Brien Sports Bar and Grill. That'll be a oh, couple, yeah. couple of great shows. Now, um, You think the Lions will kick field goals from now on? <laughs> <laughs> that's Yeah, that really is the first valid question. I mean, question. serious. You know what? I hope not, because that's what, that's how they got where they are. They're, they're, By taking a chance? They were true to themselves. Yeah, take a chance, that's what it was. Take yeah. a chance, take a chance. Oh, yeah. That's Your awesome. thoughts? Cause yeah. They, they, uh, they missed, uh, obviously. Two. They missed an opportunity to <laughs> kick twice by trying to get a 
first down. It didn't work. Enough to win. Right. Even even the Bills fans were yelling, kick the field goal. <laughs> 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 Campbell rhymes with gamble, right? Oh, so, yeah. In this game, they needed a coach named Effing, right? As in, take the effing points. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even Kayshawn Butte was like, Dan, that's too much gambling. You follow that reference? No, I don't get that, but... He, he, <laughs> he was arrested this week because it, at LSU, he bet 8,900 times. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot of gambling. Man. I'm wow. guessing it uh, didn't win a lot. I, I, mean, I didn't see the full report. I don't know. It's just, He wasn't supposed to be gambling. How many times did he gamble? 8,900. Ah, damn it. I took the, the under. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's got to be the over. Right? <laughs> it's, a lot of, it's a lot of gambling. Dan Campbell's a gambler. Yeah, something tells me he was going to Vegas this week either way. Now he now he yeah. doesn't have that pesky t game to prep for, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was, it, was, it, was, it was an interesting Sunday. The football Sunday started with an administrative timeout, right? Hmm? And fans were booing. They didn't even know what it was, but they knew anything with the word administrative. We hate that. Like, <laughs> this sucks. It turns out it was a drone near the stadium. Usually when you think drone on a Sunday, you think of Chris Collinsworth going on too long. About something. Oh, I love Chris. He's my favorite guy. I'd rather have I him think he's fine. It. He gets a lot of help from fans. I think he's fine. I think he's great. I, I, yeah, I he's, he's good at what he does. Very relatable. I um, Yeah, the drone. And then did you notice that the, the uh, CBS guys immediately said, it's not one of ours. Right. Yeah, they were defensive about it. Right. Yeah, I, uh, and whoever it was, I've got a feeling they're going to be in prison <laughs> if that happens no. at the Super Bowl oh, in Vegas. It's been, a hit, it's been a handful of times this season we've had a drone issue. So, yeah. Are they I, trying to read signals? What are they doing? I don't know. Get get some pictures of yeah. Taylor Swift. I don't, I don't yeah, know what they're that's doing. that's probably it. Can you imagine uh, if your favorite team was marching toward, 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 <laughs> toward, toward the goal line <laughs> and they had to stop because the CBS drone was no. out of control? All that momentum and oh my goodness! But it wasn't the CBS. Yeah, I mean, no, uh, can you like imagine? Steve. In a, in, in, in a right. few years, will they even need the one on the wire? Probably not. The camera, it'll just all be drone shots. Yeah, I think they no, they could probably do that right now. I would think, but yeah, well, I, don't I don't know how they crazy. don't battery life and stuff might be the issue now. I don't know how that damn thing doesn't get hit more often. That, Me that too. camera above the field. I, I have no idea. Has yeah, it been hit in the past? Huh? Has it been hit in the past? I, I want to say yeah. And you get, oh. you get three points, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you get six and the, and the ball. Oh, oh yeah, I see. Oh, yeah. I see. oh that's no. nice. Yeah. <laughs> how did you How did you like the uh, the call where the, the guy throws the ball on top of the defender? Uh, as a and, and then they get a, a massive penalty. Zay Flowers was taunting, and then the uh, taunting penalty. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, there's a lot of talk this weekend. You know, you got to give Brock Purdy his flowers. You got to give Patrick Mahomes his flowers. Zay Flowers, no flowers for you. <laughs> <laughs> you fumble at the one, no flowers. That was really po poetic justice, though, I thought. I Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that kid had the microcosm of his whole season, right? He had a touchdown. He had a taunting penalty. He fumbled at the one. He hurt his hand when he was mad pounding the thing and he had some great catches and uh, you know he's a rookie he'll get better but man I, and i feel bad for the Ravens. i know how the ravens feel i too have lost some key battles at home you know what i'm saying <laughs> uh, uh, yes you're getting, getting divorced uh -huh. right? yeah yeah, yeah get divorced. <laughs> are you are you officially divorced Jan? i am not technically legally but i you know it's oh. been almost two years we're you, know, you we're, guys have to uh, get, get back you. together That's what chick always are, are you just waiting to be common law divorced yeah <laughs> yes is that <laughs> that doesn't I, I like happen that. That's very if funny. only that is funny we live by yourself for 10 years and like all right yeah. <laughs> uh niners christian mccaffrey had a day weird game it was literally a christian against the lions you know, finally, <laughs> the Christians got one. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, maybe the 49ers underestimated the Lions in the first half. You don't want to do that, right? The last two to underestimate Lions, Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be careful. Uh, tigers, but we'll accept the joke. Yeah, it's, you know. It's, 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 hey, close enough. Big cats, we're, I we're in. I like the, the joke very much. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks for mentioning it. <laughs> God. Oh, no, we'll, get, we'll get mail from somebody. Those yeah, are Tigers, right. you know, you dumb yeah, ass. Right. Uh, it was a Tiger, right? That's true. Uh, people are waiting for Taylor's heartbreak song. I want to hear the next angry Eminem album. That's more fun, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he'll his, be pissed. His team, his team didn't make it to the Super Bowl. If Travis lost, I wonder if Taylor would leave him for Mark Andrews, you know, like Ricky Bobby's girlfriend. You know, like, oh. uh, I'm a Super Bowl wife, you know. Like. Uh, and then we got the Taylor Swift AI porn everywhere, apparently. Yeah, that's a big deal right now. I guess fans got excited. Hey, you know, if we could see Jason Kelsey naked, we could certainly we could. Yeah, right? I don't know. <laughs> Jason, porn, Jason. Is a, porn is always how we explore every technological innovation, right? Early yes. internet, I could still hear the dial-up sound, watching an image slowly coming in <laughs> line by line. Like, yeah, in that in that era, it was quicker to see a woman naked by courting her and asking for her hand in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I I know that every year they release, what is it, the Pornhub stats. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if after the first half, if Lions fans were uh, <laughs> heavily using Pornhub, just, uh, you know, thinking this is happening. Do, 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 do the winning sorrows. team tend to use it more than the losing team, uh, folks? That's a good That's question. A good question. Yeah. Some, I don't some, remember. Are you celebrating or are you trying to make yourself feel yeah. better? Right, yeah. right, right. Hmm. But I, I know they've released the stats in the past. I'll, I'll, uh, we'll have to dig them up this year when they, when the time is right. Um, My team hired a head coach since I talked to you guys. Mm -hmm. Was it Jim Harbaugh, who's won everywhere he's ever been, just off a national championship? You interviewed him twice. No. No. Was it Bill Belichick, widely regarded as the greatest coach <laughs> of all time? Interviewed him twice. No. We went with the guy who already flopped as our interim head coach three years ago. <laughs> Wee. <Whee. laughs> <laughs> Wow. Miami Dolphins receiver Tyreek Hill has filed for divorce. You guys know, nobody is better at creating separation. He's uh, very fast. <laughs> That's a good wide receiver to get separation. Oh, yeah. Sure. He is a good wide receiver. He just got married during the bye week. Technically, divorce also counts as a bye week, right? Like, bye. <laughs> sure. Is that right? He's only been married like a couple months? Yes, that's how hard marriage is, Woo. Christy. Tyreek was married for two months. He spent one week with her in the offseason and was like, F it, I'm out. <laughs> Ooh, Andy and I are two weeks in. We got it going. That's, yeah, you're, you're good. You're good so far. Uh, Tyreek said after football he wants to get into porn. But you don't want to be known as the fastest man in porn. That's not really <laughs> uh, good point. Uh, no wonder he really divorce. was serious about that, wasn't he? Yeah. I forgot that we talked about that. Yeah. He said that without any irony or yeah. joking. He, well, he was yeah. on uh, somebody's no wonder he was getting divorced. Uh, somebody's podcast, and the host tried to say it, tried to help him back off, but he wouldn't wasn't happy. Yeah. He goes, oh, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, he's a character, man. Wow. His, so his house catches on fire, and he files for divorce in the same month. The Panthers do better in January. <laughs> <laughs> this is a month. Not good. <laughs> Here's a question. When a team gets knocked out of the playoffs, do they endorse one of the other teams that are left? You know, like <laughs> DeSantis. I was like, well, I think at this point I got to throw my support behind them. Boy, that's a, yeah. that is a nerd football joke. Is what <laughs> that's really good. A political science. Uh, good that, God, that, what a mess. That, that's what we do here at All Pro. <laughs> oh, I, I liked it, Kostak. I liked it very much. <laughs> right. Let's close on this one. This one's for Ace. Uh, the Super Bowl is, in, of course, in Vegas, and some Raiders fans are miffed that they're painting Chiefs in the end zone. The Raiders should be used to the Chiefs being in the end zone at this point, shouldn't they, Ace? Oh! oh. Ace. All the time. You'll, you'll do better next season. Mm. <laughs> do you mean with the jokes or his team? No, 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 no. Ace told him. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he means with the jokes, Ace. I see. Either way. Okay. Well, thanks, Kostaki. Once again, uh, Mr. Economopolis to you and me. Saturday the 10th of February, Hastings, Nebraska at the Hastings Auditorium, Saturday, February 24th. Evansville, Indiana's O'Brien's Sports Bar and Grill. Thanks, Kostaki. We'll talk to you soon again, I guess, next week, right?
See what's Next going week? on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got to talk about the Pro Bowl. Or you don't want to miss that. Yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the tug of war. <laughs> Have you seen all the events they're doing? <laughs> There's some fun ones, but yeah, it's a little. The one that I yeah, like, at least they have the Mannings. The Mannings make it fun. Yeah, the one that I like is the uh, kick tack toe, <laughs> where the oh, kickers yeah. have to <laughs> right. uh, kick it through. I guess the secret square. I don't know. It's uh, that that sounds kind of funny. So hard to save this thing. I know, right? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, sadly, it'll get better ratings than. <laughs> anything on television. Right. You know, they have a similar well, game, that kick-tack-toe uh, at a proctologist convention. Oh, really? There's a similar <laughs> uh, <laughs> thing that goes yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. What's it called? <laughs> Dick. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Well, they would, test the... Uh, wouldn't, that be, wouldn't that be a urologist's office? That is exactly right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yours is more, okay. of a, more of a sodomy joke. <laughs> okay. Hey, Kostaki, thanks very much. Thanks, guys. I said Bye, proctologist, Kostaki. didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yes. Yeah, I, I was lost there. Sorry, I, that is my fault. Couldn't figure it out. Uh, oh, look, there's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. You missed anything? Um, okay, I thought we were just oh, going to... wait a second. You know what we forgot to do? What? Forgot to play our request. Do we have time for that here? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, here's Juice Newton. Yeah, somebody wanted to hear this. Oh. Is, that what, is that what happened? No. no, 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 no. What's um, our request? Uh, well, we were talking about the zebras and the camels that were loose on the... Uh, and the things. Mm -hmm. On the yeah. freeway. Well, here we go. By request. Beautiful girl, and your pants are on so tight that when you stand just right, I can see it all. When you're on the beach and your bikini's soaking wet, I see a fuzzy silhouette as I look down. So... Tom Band and Orchestra, and by request, the classic Camel Toe. Now, we have a lot to get to still. Yeah, we haven't done any news Oh, yet. we got babies' names in the news. Yeah. Um, Hortense! We have uh, no? an interesting dating story, a great story about one of the biggest mysteries of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. Maybe a clue. Plus, we've got uh, the ruby slippers from the Wizard of Oz. Colonel Mustard. And, oh. the, uh, and the guy that stole them and what's going to happen to him. But right now. It's time to say, wait a second, we're having a Super Bowl party. Wait a second. Are we going to have Jeez. the usual dreary, oh, look, dip? 
Wait a minute. <laughs> that, looks, that looks lovely. You know, people say that when I show up. Uh -huh. Oh, look, dip. <laughs> oh, boy. What did you do? You went out of your way to pour ranch dressing into a bowl? Well, look, you can have those things, but you're not going to have a party, a true party, unless you get Gardner's Wisconsin cheese and uh -huh. sausage. Make your guests overjoyed with all the fantastic treats that Gardner's has. Artisan meats, quality cheese, the freshest curds you've ever tasted. Man, those famous squeaky curds are made fresh in the morning, and most of the time they're delivered to your doorstep in only about 48 hours, and that's nationwide. They also have that amazing oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it. Grill it, skillet, air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. That's right, ooey-gooey spicy cheese from Gardner's. Great for game day, and jalapeno now available in that oven-baked bundle package. Speaking of packages, Gardner's has a lot of variety package deals already created for you. Listen to this one. Be My Valentine. That's right. Be My Valentine package, this crowd-pleasing package of goodies includes many of Gardner's best-selling items, from a block of buffalo wing cheese, eight-year-old super sharp cheddar, bacon oven-baked cheese, a juicy pack of those teriyaki meat sticks, garlic, summer sausage, and so much more. Head to GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. You're really going to like what they have, and for a limited time, get $5 off any purchase of 50 bucks or more when you use promo code Lucky Day. That's all one word, Lucky Day. Put that in a checkout. You're going to get 5 bucks off. Also, you can receive that free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more. That's at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Just great, great food. If you're having a Super Bowl party mm -hmm. and you're serving Bloody Marys mm -hmm. and you're putting plastic sticks instead oh. of those meat sticks, How gauche. you're responsible for global warming. That's exactly right. And killing sea turtles. That's right. Be responsible for global joy with Thank Gardner's we meat sticks. Those are the perfect stir sticks for Bloody Mary's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese dot com. Uh, you're going to be having the most famous Super Bowl party of all your friends. You can get that order in right now and have it just in time for the Super Bowl with that, ah, that fresh oven baked cheese. Mm, thank you very much. Coming up, we have, like I said, baby names. we got all kinds of great stories in the news. we got a naked lady diddling the... The yeah. diddle at the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Daddling yeah. on the... Well, that, was a, that was a Batman villain, the diddler. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your eyes away, Robin. You're not old enough. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us. Tell us more about scatting. Well, it's, uh, you know, it's like in the traditional jazz sense. It's, uh, you know, the... Uh, you know, the scoot up, bop, 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 and beat a beat a bada, but I mean, I don't do that. I do it to classic rock only. Right. The most famous scat is probably the worst ever. Well, uh, of Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra, yeah. a great artist, but the doobie doobie, doobie do, do, one right. of the worst, uh, Absolutely. terrible right. scats. But yeah, but you, I mean, it's hard. Like, if you're in the car and you're listening to Led Zeppelin, it's hard not to do the bow, 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 do, do, do. You know, so That's brilliant, yeah. Sure. yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, and uh, you know, I've got the notoriety came from the uh, the ACDC, which sure. really uh, took sale, which is the <laughs> and, uh, you know, my girlfriend's like, most people sing the lyrics. That's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I can scat uh, Amos Moses by Jerry Reed. Oh, please. yeah. Let's hear it. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time.
excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin cheese, jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven baked bundle package. So try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh me, the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. This is a song so girls don't get anorexia. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> Ooh, I want to be a plus-sized model, the kind that can't run very far, doodle cause if I could only be a plus-sized model. I know I'd be a big, big star. Please feed me. <laughs> <laughs> so some, some people get sensitive about it, uh -huh. but don't because the beautiful women are the big women. And, I agree. Uh -huh. And I like I gained some weight, then I couldn't afford to keep it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. You know it. I want to carbo load without having to exercise. I don't want to worry if the fat goes to my thighs. I want to wear a plus size preserve of room. I want to eat chips and wash them down with beer. Well, I've got a plus size dream, but I'm plus sized ornery for the best job in the world goes to the bigger. Listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Here's truly Artie Whiskey, frontier golfer with another true tale from the Old West. Really? As you know, I'm quite the avid golfer. Really? So I go out just about every day and play 18. Well, one afternoon I'd finished nine and I just wasn't feeling my best. So I decided to head on home after nine holes. Well, much to my surprise, I mosey up to my house and I see... Another buggy in the driveway. Mm-hmm. Well, I gotta sneak in the house and I find my wife in bed with another fella. Mm-hmm. I was rather upset. I can see that. I grabbed the guy, got him in a headlock, dragged him down into the garage, grabbed him by the manhood, stuck it in a vice, and squeezed it real tight. Uh-huh. He started screaming, Oh, Artie, you're not gonna cut it off, are you? I said, no, you are. I'm going to set the garage on fire. <laughs> That's another exciting episode of... <laughs> Comedian Greg Fitzsimmons has joined us in the studio. You're a New Yorker. Uh, yeah. How's that going? New York's good. Not bad. It's uh, it's a strange place because no matter where you work or what you do, you come in contact with freaks. <laughs> you know, I, I, like I, I grew up, I worked at a gas station for a couple of years, and the guy I worked with, strange man, former porno movie star from the 70s. Really? Yeah, he'd get confused every time he'd fill the tank. Halfway through, he'd pull it out and spray it all over the car. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we lost a lot of good pets. Uh, Bob and Tom 24-7. Not on air, online, all the time. On the way. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Let's see, uh, Ace here, I'm here, there's uh, Josh and Pat, Christy, and 
Here's Tom Griswold looking out of, uh, over his... <laughs> he uh, was. He really yeah. was uh, <laughs> contemplating... Uh, <laughs> His enjoying, kingdom. Enjoying life. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a great day. And, he does uh, sit higher than the rest of us. We all it's know. Real, he should. Real weird. Yes. Oh, we should explain. He's earned uh, the elevation. Why did you do that? There's no reason for it other than you like to trip, I guess, when you're going up there. <laughs> um, well, it would be a uh, uh, throne. Uh, as Sherlock Holmes would say, elementary, my dear Watson. Uh-huh. The um, <laughs> a level of the... Uh, whatever this thing's called. Counter? Counter, thank you, mm -hmm. uh, is higher than that one just by design. Therefore, they had to put a step in here uh. so that I would be at, uh, at the same height as you guys. Like That's a pharmacist. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but it feels good being up here. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> it's, uh, uh -huh. uh, now, Christy Lee, uh, we've been uh, depriving you of, uh, of doing any news this morning. Oh, you're not depriving. Time to let you loose. Enjoying. An explorer believes he has found Amelia Earhart's lost airplane. Vasco da Gama? Sorry. According to NBC News, Mr. Tony Romeo, a former Air Force intelligence officer. Wait a minute. And CEO <laughs> I, I, you know of something? I knew that would be distracting Vision. for you. I know. How, is any, how do we take this guy seriously? Because he's a, a badass. Like, a this guy's, like this is an incredible story. Have you oh, seen the he, photograph he, of this? This is all make-believe. No, why, why does he think that it's... Uh, Have you seen it, George? Were there, like, were there tampons in the glove compartment? Oh, my God. Okay. I should, all right. There's no point in even trying. I'll talk to the <laughs> talk listener to because they're smart. Hey, what do they call a female uh, pilot? Uh, lost? <laughs> no, a pilot. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Romeo embarked on an $11 million expedition sure to locate Air, uh, Amelia Earhart's plane, which disappeared in 1937. After combing the ocean floor with sonar technology in the suspected area of um, Amelia Earhart's crash, Romeo and his team spotted a blurry plane-like shape resting 16,000 feet beneath the water's surface. Wow, that's deep. The image was taken about 100 miles from Howland Island, halfway <laughs> between <laughs> Australia and uh, Hawaii. Have you seen uh, the image, Josh? No, of course. No, not. It looks not. like the outline of an airplane. Wow, it's, it does. Could huh? be any plane. Could then, be huh? anything, yeah. Uh, it's like ocean. Romeo's the team plans to return to the site to capture better images and possibly confirm whether the object is Earhart's long-lost twin-engine Lockheed 10E Electra. They're hooking up with that Ocean Gate uh, group. They're going to... Go down there and <laughs> remember those guys. They, was it? They, I do they, remember that tragedy. They, they yes. went down yeah. to the RV. We all remember <laughs> the RV. <laughs> Is that what we're uh, uh, we're bringing that back? Up, huh? I'm sorry. Uh, I think it's a great story. Well, it could, it, if it ends up being her plane, but yeah, it could be anything. It will. How are they going to know? Be, it could be a plane, but somebody, anybody's plane. I mean, somebody else goes crash there. a skeleton there. with a ponytail. <laughs> she could be oh, still floating around in a raft, you know. Oh. <sighs> Maybe she doesn't want to be found. Yeah, I don't believe she actually crashed. I think she just, she, she hid. Didn't but, well, they? I think she hid. There was a whole theory that she landed, landed on some on island, island and, and they, they were they, eaten by, it's all. They took her prisoner and uh, then. If you've ever flown over the Pacific, there's a lot of water there and not a lot of little islands. And so they finally, odds are, they finally yeah. started getting along with the locals and she opened I'm up. I'm not even convinced that's a plane. You're she, not? No. Oh. She opened up a jet yeah, ski. Uh, it be rocks. Yeah, they'll. Oh, now wait a minute. They'll, they'll, that could be rocks. <laughs> sure looks like a plane. And not really. Well, they'll be sending a follow-up. It looks like uh, sure a burning bush is what it looks like to <laughs> okay. me. It could be a whale fall. Why do we talk to you? I don't know. There's no point. Do you have anything else these guys might don't want to piss off? Mm. God. You know, she, I mean, they say Amelia Earhart uh, crashed in the ocean, but mm -hmm. I think she would have rather gone face down in Veronica Lake. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, really. No and respect to Benny. Uh, face down. Huh? Okay, yeah. Authorities in Florida say a naked woman was arrested after threatening convenience store workers and masturbating in front of deputies. Ah, what do you think of this? <laughs> How am I doing? How am I doing, my officer? <laughs> Try to handcuff me now. The 35-year-old woman barged into a racetrack store in St. Petersburg and began yelling about being trespassed from the business about the what? day before. Trespassed? Trespassed. Trespassed. Oh. The woman allegedly brandished a vegetable peeler. Boy, that's threatening. That's a that's some rough. <laughs> Look out! She's got a peeler. 
That's a rough <laughs> masturbation. I was going to say. No so you're gonna, wow. Uh, take off you your better control. be careful what you uh, trim there. <laughs> she threatened two workers before toppling over a Red Bull energy drink display. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Spilling <laughs> cigarettes from a carton that she tore open. Boy, she's uh, just uh, having a field day. Can I uh, have a smoke? A minor in the machine. A responding <laughs> officer noted that prior to being taken into custody, the woman began masturbating in front of deputies. Uh, 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 okay, okay, wait a minute. All right, now go back, read it again, and put wildly in there. Yeah, fe or again, feverishly. masturbating wildly in front of deputies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. She reportedly admitted to being intoxicated, adding she'd had consumed approximately six shots of liquor. Oh, if she you're faces gonna, numerous gonna hit on her, you're going to need ten. I'm not sure you can drink her any less <laughs> ugly. Oh, you have a picture of her? Yeah. You've seen her? Drunk right. as a monkey. Oof, yikes. <laughs> Uh, if she were pretty, you'd say right. this wasn't her fault right. somehow? Exactly. <laughs> Heal away. You're amazing. <laughs> Do you know that? Well, she messed up the whole store. Yeah, well, she, yes. she was really on one. Yeah, she was charged with clittering. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I, I believe note. I was, I, I bet you early. You're funny today. <laughs> wow. This is just, what a bizarre uh, once story. Once again, we'd like to remind everyone not to clitter. Yeah, I, I like it. the phrase that she was charged, she starts screaming at them, she was, quote, being trespassed from. What the hell does yeah, that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah, I was being trespassed from. <laughs> now I'm going to play it. <laughs> uh, no, leave me alone. Uh, I, uh, I just yeah, gotta you, do this real just, quick. Can you imagine the cops going, oh, jeez. <laughs> I know, I Here know. we go again. Ma'am. Oh, God. <laughs> do you have the blanket? It's, it's if, she, the... if she barfs in the back of my squad car, I swear to God, I'm gonna shoot her. It's the words <laughs> they all dread hearing. A Florida woman or a Florida man. Mm, you know what they call that, by the way? What? When you're doing that? Uh, it's Masturbating? A ten, it's a 1059. <laughs> <laughs> Let that gestate for a while. You'll pick up I on the joke. I don't I don't care. Never mind. Uh, 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 oh, that's right. Cause fabulous new things coming up. Baby names, boats, <laughs> um, uh, how to get a date, and um, how to get back at your ex. It's all happening next. This is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest dash rules. Or just scroll down to the bottom of the page and see contest rules. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Here at the Bob and Tom Radio Laboratories, we've discovered that if you listen to the Bob and Tom Radio Show in the morning, you're going to be all right. However, if you don't listen, there could be some serious side effects, including general discomfort, memory loss, head spins, confusion, memory loss, itching. Bob and Tom Mornings on 104.7 WTUE. Confusion, confusion, itching, itching, bloating, bloating, ah! Uh, Bob and Tom show. Bob and Tom is Steven Seagal. Steven oh, Seagal. Steven Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, Steve, Steven, how did you make how did you make your living, Steven? You know, I made my living in the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the last 20 years, I've been a cop. Uh-huh. I understand Christy Lee is having some second thoughts about moving. Uh, no, she already <laughs> moved. A lot of people don't know, but for five of the last 20 years, I've also been a real estate broker. <laughs> uh, yeah, really? <laughs> we had no idea. I, didn't I love know. open houses, man. Oh. Someday I show up. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. Meet the owners and say, you get out the car! <laughs> you get on the ground! <laughs> yeah, it's crazy what happened. Uh -huh. You're Steven Seagal! Yeah. You're Steven Seagal! Yeah, I get that a lot, man. Listen, <laughs> you're Steven Seagal! Yeah. Hey, back up, man. That's it, you're Steven Seagal! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> I made my living in the movies. Uh, uh, I'm an ass yeah. for the last two seconds. I've been a bitch slapper. Steven Seagal. No, man. Wow, those, uh, you have sound effects and everything, huh, Steven? Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you never get 
Francis Wright in the live show. Shut up. <laughs> Hi, uh, Tom here. God knows I'm not perfect. I guess I can be difficult and sometimes perhaps a little demanding. No. I'm sure some might say tyrannical, but I don't get it. I try to be a nice guy, but lately it seems that everybody's pissed at me. <laughs> My friends are pissed, my doctor's pissed, my mother's pissed, my lawyer's pissed, my waiter's pissed, and chick is pissed. Everybody's pissed at me, my banker's pissed, the band is pissed, my plumber's pissed, the fisher pissed, my barber's pissed, my brother's pissed. It is very plain to see, everybody's pissed at me, I think we can all agree, everybody's pissed at me. Off list. I'm sure there's someone that I missed, and that will probably make them pissed. It is very plain to see. Everybody's pissed at me. I think we can all agree. Everybody's pissed at me. Very justifiably. Everybody's pissed at your me. Your friends are pissed, your friends are pissed, your mother's pissed, your lawyer's pissed, your waiter's pissed, your dog is pissed. Everybody's pissed at me. <laughs> Aging Michael Hunt. <laughs> AJ Michael Hunt. Is Mike Hunt here? All right. You ready for this? We are ready. sore and scraped knees. Add a girl knee pads fit right in your purse so you can take them anywhere. Perfect for a Friday night date or that important job interview. Hey Brenda, how'd it go last night? Well, my knees feel great, but uh, <clears throat> do the Add a Girl people make lozenges? <laughs> you whore. Add a girl knee pads. Order today and you'll receive a free head helmet. You'll love wearing this stylish tabletop helmet with its flat, level surface, big enough to hold his beer, remote control, and a magazine. At a girl knee pass. Protective goggles sold separately. Hi, this is Mike Birbiglia, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. There was this bass player. <laughs> and he was uh, sitting in a, in a bar just getting really, really drunk. He, sure. was, he was mad at the world. Yeah. He had been fired from his uh, latest job, mad at everyone, just angry, drinking. So he leaves the bar. He's very, very drunk. He's walking down the street. And across the street is a nun walking the other direction. Mm -hmm. Well, the bass player runs across the street, knocks her down, and just starts kicking her and hitting her oh and going gosh. crazy. A drunk bass player. A drunk bass player. <laughs> and he looks down and says, you're not so tough now, are you, Batman? <laughs> <laughs> this is why we get mail. <laughs> That's it for our show. Based on... I babysat a cat a couple weeks ago. No, it went in the show. Oh, he... Then he started uh, picking his out of his litter box and dropping him in the middle of the living room floor. <laughs> oh, this is a protest. <laughs> it did seem like some sort of action. Cats oh, are, that's funny. you know, jerks, basically. <laughs> Can be. Cats are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Really? No, seriously. Really? Bo <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. 
At the news desk, it's Christy Lee. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Hi. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. I do. You want to hear something about them? Tell sure me. Do. Malibu me. Pink is now available in Steven Singer Jewelers 24 karat gold roses, the number one gift for Valentine's Day. Just around the corner, get on this, fellas. Exclusively and only available at IHateStevenSinger.com. There's Ace Cosby. I'm Chick hey. McGee, and here's Tom. Griswold. Thank you very much. Now, we've been talking a little bit about uh, the Super Bowl, of course, even though it's a couple weeks away, and uh, the Taylor Swift connection mm -hmm. with uh, Taylor and uh, Travis Kelsey. And, um, Travis and Tay Tay. And they have a... Uh, <laughs> The, the flights, what is it? The flights on American Airlines have been renamed, uh, renumbered, I should say. Yeah, there's 80, uh, 87 for Travis, 15 for uh, pa pa Mahomes. Pa My man, Patrick Mahomes. And, and uh, uh, 1989 for Taylor. Yeah. In honor of her album of the same name. Making a lot of news. And uh, right now uh, on, on the big screen, we've been joined by... Uh, by That's uh, right, Bob and Tom. It's Bobby from Boca Raton, Florida. Bar 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 Assisted Barbie. Living Center. Nice. nice to see you, Barbie. Uh, looking good. Oh, I'm in my mid-70s. As you can tell, old age has not been kind to old Bob here. Well, I just had my upper lap. Wax three days ago. It's already back with a vengeance. I'll yeah. say, boy. Yeah. Tom, Selleck, Tom Selleck would be jealous. That's oh. a stash. Thank you. Taylor Swift back in the news. Half the world loves her. Your father hates her. You almost wish the Kardashians were back. <laughs> <laughs> While I am not a Swifty, I do own two Swifter sweepers. Uh, one for everyday messes and one for when I piddle on the floor from laughing too hard watching young Sheldon. <laughs> oh, Barbie. Yeah, well, yeah. Personally, I think it's great Taylor and Travis are together. Before he was married, I once went out with Travis's brother, Jason. Oh, really? oh. oh the man is gifted. <laughs> oh, if he's ever in prison, he could just use that thing to pull vault over the fence, so to speak. <laughs> wow. Is that right? Yeah, let's just say Bobby was living high. High on the hog for those three oh. kids. Oh. oh my gosh, I gotta run. They just opened the omelet station, and I am not getting stuck behind Juice Newton again. Ah, okay. <laughs> playing with the Queen of Hearts, you're playing with Bobby's patience, Juice Newton. <laughs> Your name sounds like a Welch's grape banged a cookie from the 80s. <laughs> Make your selection and move on. The line's already backed up to the oatmeal station. Let's go already. <laughs> what was that, Juice? <laughs> oh, Bob and Tom Juice just gave me the finger. Time for Bobby to go throw some hands. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Barbie. Barbie nice. Uh, lovely. Okay. Man, uh, welcome man. back. I think Barbie tipped over there. Right? So like, I think her hands. hair got caught in the chair. A rough exit. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, well, let's uh, return to uh, the news desk uh, with Christy Lee. What's happening over there? A survey on online dating reveals being open about your mental health on dates hey. might be a turn-on for some people. Yeah, yeah, open mental health. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> According yeah. to a poll conducted by an app called Pure Dating, 70% of the participants are perfectly comfortable discussing mental well-being with a new date. 90% mm, of people surveyed prefer to meet up with people who have attended therapy in the past. Wow. 50% of people find bringing up therapy attractive on the first date. Like, hot. On the first date? Really? Yeah. Seems a little early, doesn't it? No, I don't think so. Mm. Why nearly 5% said mentioning therapy on a first date was a red flag. No, I think it's a good thing. No, yeah, there should be no stigma oh, around absolutely. it at all. absolutely, yeah. No, but there is. Yeah. Uh, but there shouldn't be. Yeah, that's the thing. It's what if it's what if it's court mandated? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> I bet those folks don't bring it up. Yeah, I'm, you're wondering about this anklet I'm wearing. Uh, I'd love to hug you and kiss you on the cheek, but I, I'm a uh, court mandate. I can't really. Okay. 25% <laughs> absolutely believe that uh, those who have been to therapy are less likely to engage in weird or unpleasant behaviors. <laughs> oh, okay. I Interesting. I want to see some examples <laughs> of weird too. and unpleasant behavior. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, I've, been, I've been in the couch, i got to tell you. Oh, yeah. have you? Yeah, good, some, good. Uh, yeah. And then me and you later on the couch. Oh, oh sir. I, was, uh, really, uh, yeah, I don't couch. know about that. Yeah. Huh? Tell me about your childhood. Uh, uh, talk, uh, talk slow. Oh, like, this is <laughs> oh, really taking a turn. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and ask for the check. <laughs> hmm. Well, hopefully that first date goes well, and maybe you'll be making a baby 
You know, a lot of my my therapy and a lot of the women I date have something in common. What's that? They both charge by the hour. <laughs> 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 a couple um, apparently had a big fight over baby names. Oh, yeah? Yeah. According to this story, when it comes to naming a baby, many parents-to-be spend hours going through books. We've all been there, most of us, or researching old family names. But do you want you to name your child after a dead cat? A dead cat. One man does, and the story goes viral on Reddit, and it goes like this. The man identified as Ethan says his pregnant wife has turned down his favorite baby name, which is Zoe. Why, you ask? Why? She doesn't like the history behind it, Chick. On Reddit, apparently, she explained her husband wants to name their firstborn daughter after his dead cat, Zoe, believing it's perfect for the little girl. She says she doesn't like the idea because the cat had been given to him by his now... Ex-girlfriend. Oh, uh, well, yeah, sir, this is, it's never going to happen. No, yeah. it's never going to happen. <laughs> Zoe's a lovely name. Yes. Yeah, it is. Did you see what they settled on? Um, no, what they settled uh, on? Fluffy. Oh. <laughs> I got to go with <laughs> his cat from childhood. Mm -hmm. I, what an idiot. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, you know something? I There's know someone, this is... Every couple that goes through this. I know someone, this is true, uh, that... Um, always wanted to name their first child a certain name. Then they gave it to their dog when they got their first dog. Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, down the road. You mean Willie was going to be Elvis? Uh, <laughs> that would have been funny. So down the road, <laughs> the, you can't do it. You can't do it, no. Well, oh, You can't name a kid after your dog. Yeah, so if, if you had a dog. The Rover. If you, if you always wanted to name your child, I don't know. Um, give me a name, Christy. Any random name. Um, Brian. Brian. And you have a dog named Brian, which is a hilarious name for a dog, by the way. <laughs> hey, Brian. <laughs> yeah. Seth, Seth MacFarlane was on that. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and you, you can't then you can't name your kid that. Right. Then if the phone rings, is Brian there? Do you want to talk to the dog or to the well, kid? That, that well, doesn't happen. going to call for the dog? <laughs> no, but you see what I'm saying. Christy, am I right or not? No, dog. you're right. Kid Brian or... So I, I see. So they still had the dog when they were going to have a kid. Yeah, but the okay. thing, I think the thing is you've got to... Uh, well, let me ask you this, Josh. Yes, please. Do you have <laughs> names picked out in the event that you were to um, get whatever? Impregnate, Sire a child? Impregnate yes. someone? There yeah, I do. Uh, I, I, there are names I like. Yeah. Like? Patrick. I think Lily is very nice. Oh, I love nice. that. I think that's yeah. lovely. Stupid. Uh, I like, I like uh, Sam for either a boy or a girl. Mm -hmm. um, See, those are all great names. Now, if you, uh, now, for example, I know you have a cat that you named Gravy. Yes. But that name came with the cat, right? No. No, oh, I thought okay. uh, the her sister was named Biscuit, and I said, "Well, I've got a name oh, mine, okay. Gravy." That makes sure. sense. That makes yeah. sense. But if you had named your cat Lily, and then down the road, yeah, a year from now, had you a... you impregnated uh, one of these lady friends, um, yeah, <laughs> you couldn't say we're going to name the little girl Lily. Yeah, and she goes, That's the name of your cat, right? I so. want to hear about him about having sex in the Old West. Uh, more about the lady friends that she got. Well, I, yeah. I asked for a room and a bath. That's right. uh -huh. nah, I thought you she said it was uh, Miss Kitty. Oklahoma I, didn't, I misunderstood. <laughs> I didn't miss Kitty, if you know what I mean. Is oh. <laughs> that why they had the bath right there? No, never mind. So, uh, <laughs> right in the face. I, can see, I think this has happened to more... <laughs> what was the name of your first dog? My first dog. Yeah. Tammy. Mm. She really? was a boxer. Yes. God. Tammy the boxer. I, lo I my love first it. dog when I was a little no, kid. No, when you, when you had your own first dog. Oh, when I had my own first dog, my dog's, it's worse, it was Tiffany. Oh. Tiffany, Good see. Good Lord, mm. woman. The Afghan hounds, Tiffany, Moonraker, oh. and Kahlua, yeah. Moonraker. Oh, my After God. the best James Bond. And was, were you mm. married yet? Yeah, I was married. It was the first time. Boy, that's but remember, I mean, Tiffany and Moonraker were in my wedding. You cannot, you cannot beat Roger Moore and Moonraker. That's the best James Bond. Yeah, oh, it's a great one. Pandemic. Moonraker ran away. Turd <laughs> of cinema. I don't know about that. I think it might be. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. By many might, I think yeah. we might yeah. disagree. Number one. Yeah. Now we're off topic. Uh, coming up, we're going to talk with uh, comedian Brad Williams. Looking forward to that. Funny, gent. And, uh, but first. I'll tell you about Simply Safe, the design it yourself, do it yourself home security system. Best home security of 2023, named so by U.S. News and World Report. And we all trust Simply Safe in our homes and recommend it to everybody. 
Here's why we love it. Simply Safe is comprehensive protection for the whole home with advanced sensors that detect break-ins, fires, floods, and it's powered by 24-7 professional monitoring costing less than a dollar a day. Half the price of traditional home security. Simply Safe prioritizes your privacy. That's why their indoor security cameras are the only ones on the market with physical privacy shutters to ensure your privacy 24-7. Satisfaction is guaranteed. Try Simply Safe for 60 days risk-free. If you don't love it, return your system for a full refund. Just that easy. Keep your home and your family safer than ever in the new year. As a Bob and Tom Show listener, you can save 20% on your new system with a Fast Protect plan. Just visit SimplySafeTom.com. Customize your system in just minutes at SimplySafeTom.com. And remember... There's no safe like Simply Safe. Read the reviews. They get the best. And you can install it yourself. Feel good about everything. Simply Safe. SimplySafeTom.com. Coming up, comedian Brad Williams. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Larry Reeb, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world, and I'm a happy guy. And you're listening to the Bob and Tom Radio. Hope you're able to catch Greg Warren. Strapping on a guitar, and now what, are you going to play your new one here? No, I'll play. I'll play a new one. Okay. I'm well, not like Haywood. I can't write a song about two minutes, but I uh, know. Oh, but you had a really good one you played last time. I really liked. There we go. That's that's working. Wayne had a wreck with a big old buzz. And you couldn't tell what kind of car that was. He rolled it in a field where he turkey hunts. That's four total cars in the past six months. But Wayne must not have learned his lesson yet. He just stuck a handicap tag on a black Corvette. <laughs> Who the hell puts a handicap tag on a black Corvette? Cost him me bag and the cast is still wet. A shattered left leg with his neck in a brace. Wayne's trying to get to heaven in a high-speed chase. He's squealing tires and won't turn around. Got on a damp diaper and a hospital gown. <laughs> doing a 120 in black fiberglass. Got a nurse on call and a cop up his ass. <laughs> on 14 prescriptions for a compacted desk. Wayne's doctor's worried and his wife is pissed. And the news chopper chasing. Him up in the air. Wayne could give a damn about Obamacare and his all state agents getting all upset. Who the hell puts a handicap tag on a black Corvette? <laughs> Amen. Let's do the big Bruce Springsteen in it. Uh -huh. It's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno-flavored oven-baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven-baked bundle package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you.
Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. <laughs> the fridge thinks his door is open. The cable box is on. The whole house is angry. I, I got to get out of here. Gotta, enjoy your dinner. <laughs> that's great. Is that true, though, about the texting appliances, or is that a premise? I guarantee that. No, that's, that. that's absolutely. I read about that, and I was so, like, excited. I'm like, I'm going to get this on the Tonight Show before everybody else starts doing jokes about washers and dryers. Tech. And, of course, I forget it, and I sit down, and Jay goes, hey, you'll do it next time. Don't worry about it. That's a great mm -hmm. joke, though. That's, yeah. That's so and Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Like <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio 24 7. Hey. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, everyone. Hi, Chick. Hi. We're How to the special guest star portion of our show. Ooh. There he is. Right uh, there. Oh, the, oh, the, the, I didn't even see on the big screen. Hey, hey Brad. Hey, Brad. There we go. It is comedian Brad Williams. Uh, Brad is on tour and uh, a lot of stops coming up, including the Fox Theater in Bakersfield on Friday, February 9th, and a big hunk of time in Arizona beginning, um, coming up in just a couple days. Hey, Brad, how are you? Uh, greetings from the lounge at the Miami airport. Uh, so if you see random people walk behind me, those aren't my relatives that are trying to get money from me. Oh, okay. Those right. are, oh, they're like that guy? Yeah. Hey, oh, that's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's Very nice. So yes. I, 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 li I literally just got here. Uh, I just got off the uh, Chris Jericho Rock and Wrestling Rager at Sea. Oh, that's oh. awesome, dude. Holy hell. Which is a wrestling cruise uh uh that i did stand-up comedy on the punches were fake but the syphilis was real <laughs> hey i i uh i'm trying to remember did you have the beard last time you were in here i have no idea uh i think that it's uh, uh the natural timeline of my people that we all grow beards uh I, is I that a thing now it's just yeah dwarves just naturally grow beards i i, I think <laughs> makes you look taller look like those yeah, we're, we're all trying to look like those gnome statues that are on your front yard. <laughs> yeah, we, we should point out that uh, Mr. Oh, okay. Mr. Williams is a man small of stature. Um, yes, last time, Last time we talked, I got in trouble. Everyone was mad at me. <laughs> you remember what he asked you, Brad. You I, remember? He said, uh, <laughs> you probably can't wear brightly colored clothing because people will think you're a clown. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is. I mean, he's a professional comedian. I, yeah. And the, and, the, and the truth is the exact opposite. I wear brightly colored clothing because, uh, A, um, it helps me not get run over by cars <laughs> that are just driving straight or backing up. All right. Um, or or if I'm if I'm in the snow and there might be like a foot and a half of snow on the ground, if I fall, that's a problem. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's that's not going to go well. So I, I I wear brightly colored clothing so the so the Saint Bernard with the whiskey around his yeah. neck can find me. Sure. Yeah. Now I I would think I would think that the online shopping would help um, the dwarf community. <laughs> <laughs> if you will. Here well, we go. I mean, in a way. Here no, because, go, no, because, I mean. Because, you know, you can't reach the really good stuff up on the higher shelf. <laughs> you right? that shit, yes. That's not where I'm going. Yes. Oh. No, seriously, because, I mean, I, I, you know, you're shopping for adult clothes in extraordinarily small sizes. 
has to be mm -hmm. rough. And mm -hmm. I think if uh, there's probably a place, I don't know what it is. And, and I'm sure it helps the very tall, the very fat, the yeah. very thin. Yeah. yeah. So yes. all the freaks out there, <laughs> no, right, Tom? I, I, I'm just yeah. no. I this is his condition. I, he's a very handsome condition. man. He's got a nice beard. I, is that is that the case? You, you can now you can go online and get adult looking clothing for those that are very small. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say these words, and God knows the very few times they have been said. I, you're actually right. <laughs> uh, the, I, I don't hear that ever. No, uh, the online shopping has absolutely helped me because now that the selection is great, um, and then I don't have to go through the humiliation of being a man with a beard uh, looking at Oshkosh jeans. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did, All right. Now, you were just on a cruise, and once again, yes. we're speaking with comedian Brad Williams. You may have seen Brad yes. um, recently, um, uh, the Starfish uh, streaming. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah. uh, uh, do they issue you a smaller life jacket <laughs> when you get on board the ship? <laughs> Dude, that thing is just a boat for me. I, I know. I be, wouldn't be safe. It's a, no, it's a second boat. It's great. And also, I need that thing. Uh, I am not a uh, good swimmer. Oh. Um, I have oh. a very uh, large head, and uh, that sinks and I have a very, um, how do I clean this up for radio? Uh, fat, but donk, a donk. I see. And that, but I, Brad Williams, I would close. wager that uh, uh, with your relatively uh, smaller size, you would have been able to survive the Titanic on that door. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you I, would, I would have pushed Leo off of that thing so fast. Uh, okay. He would not. That and if you keep a dwarf from uh, from the, from the lifeboat, you don't get into heaven. That's the rules. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, by the way, once again, you, you are in the lounge at the Miami airport, and we are watching yes. uh, complete strangers walking by, thinking this is great being in the lounge, and uh -huh. they see. Wait a minute! There's a <laughs> there's a guy over there talking to somebody on the, on the screen. Can yeah, you see this on YouTube yeah. later? Yeah. Uh, uh, Brad is on tour. Are you um, going out with uh, the same opener the whole time? Are you? Uh, uh, yes. So there's uh, my great opening act. His name is JB Ball, and and we're going all over the place. So no matter where you're listening to this, if if you think uh, Brad's not coming to my town. I'm coming to Terre Haute, Indiana. All right, so we're on the air right now. There, you're uh, you're so you're going to be in uh, Columbus, Ohio, San Jose. Yeah, uh, you got a thing Tons going on forever. Spokane, Ann Arbor. Yeah. Uh, you're even yeah, going to Toronto. Uh, yeah, seventy over seventy dates. We haven't even announced the international tour yet. Uh, tickets are going fast. So, uh, and listen, guys, I got a four-year-old uh, Asian dwarf baby so that I <laughs> got to feed. And despite the rumors, um, they eat the same amount. Uh, it, it, it's, and they certainly poop the same amount, if not more. Now, so, uh, um, yeah. again, not to be um, uh, uh, dwelling on this, <laughs> um, by the way, you're going to be in Green Bay on May 10th, um, yeah. which is a Friday night. That'll, that'll be a great show. Um, yeah. uh, Mike stands. Uh, the microphone, yeah, 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 yeah. the microphone stands even on the lowest setting is probably clearing your head. Is that correct? Oh, I'm good. And even if it's tall, I just give that thing a drop kick and it gets the opening laugh, and it's great. Oh, you know, okay. Pete, yeah, you got the, ha the, ha the handheld that. wireless. Yeah, dude, I got, I got the whole thing. I got, uh, I got booster seats in the green room. I got squatty potties all over the darn venue. Mm. It's great. I got the thing completely, completely adapted. Okay, well, good, well, good. Now, um, <laughs> you do in fact have a child. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, I was able to reproduce. Some woman was willing to uh, have relations with me. Dare I say? Dare I say? Marry me? Uh, so, yay! Yes, you have a, a lovely uh, wife yeah. and child. May I ask the child's yeah. name? Is that is that appropriate? Uh, uh, I don't like to give out. The that's name. okay. You don't have to, uh, you just don't have to because know. there's 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 weird people on the internet. Yeah, that's why that's why I, I, <laughs> uh, there's weird weird people in this room right, right now. I think. Yeah. <laughs> right. We we just had a, a news story about a a, a lady who's uh, 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 her husband, uh, baby mama, whatever it was wanted or baby daddy wanted to name the kid after his cat. <laughs> but, dead uh, cat. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, yeah. No, uh, your, yeah, kid, your we, kid's not we, named Fluffy or something. <laughs> no, uh, we actually named her after my favorite football player, so I've got to earn money to feed little Debrickashaw Ferguson. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, good. <laughs>
the famous New York button. Jet. He'll be he'll be going into that ring of uh, hall of uh, ring of honor or whatever they do in the Jets. But aren't you a Broncos fan? I saw you in a lot of Broncos games. Oh this year. yes, you are a Broncos yeah. fan. Yeah, I'm a lifelong diehard De uh, Denver Broncos fan. So uh, this year, not so great. Yeah. But uh, uh, definitely, definitely rooting for the 49ers in the Super Bowl. Looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's. It's been a rough year, but thankfully the Broncos, uh, there's not too many celebrity Broncos fans. <laughs> when, they're, when, when they're calling me to come to the games, it's like, oh, my God, who turned – did Richard Simmons turn you down? Like, what happened? <laughs> oh, and they have bright clothing, that bright orange. Oh, yeah. The win-win. So it's, it's fantastic. Uh, there's actually a video on my Instagram at Brad Williams Comic of me in the stands of the Bronco game. They put me up on the big screen dancing to uh who let the dogs out yes. and the crowd got very amped because i don't know i think if you see a dwarf dancing you think you get three wishes uh -huh. yeah. and i i love that song and i'm not kidding it's i, I really do enjoy that now did it's they a um, tapper. Uh, again i'm just not trying to underscore the uh, 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 shut up and ask the question miniatureness of your uh miniatureness oh. uh do you have a broncos jersey that ha they've because, I mean, with your size, the number's yeah. going to be obscured. Yeah. Or if he gets the... It, it, he, he could also buy the right size for himself. Yeah, like yeah. a child yeah, size that's, uh, jersey. That's the way to go. Right yeah. Yeah. I was wondering if they made yeah. him a custom one. If, hey, he's coming in, we're going to make him a nice custom jersey with the right... Cut. Aren't they yeah, trying... Um, are, aren't the Broncos trying to get you to come in to do something with the, the, the mascot or something? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, they're trying to do that. They're 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 trying to get me to come in and play. Uh, their mascot is Miles. They want me to be mini Miles for a day. And uh, <laughs> I am... Game. I can't tell you how much I am game. Can't That's the thing, man. I I didn't. I I never thought, you know, growing up that I would have these kind of opportunities that I would be doing stuff with the Denver Broncos. Uh, uh, right now, if you go to my Instagram, there's videos from this Chris Jericho Rock and Wrestling Rager at Sea Cruise where I got to do a couple moves in the ring, and I'm still alive. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, uh, once again, Brad Williams is our guest. Brad's a great stand-up comedian, and um, you can find more at Brad Williams Comic. And uh, also, um, a, a lot of tour stops, including a bunch of places where you're hearing us right now. So uh, go see some great live stand-up comedy. It's always a great pleasure, Brad. Yeah, Thanks so much for the you. time, and uh, hope your flight leaves Miami soon. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Thanks for tolerating me being here in the lounge, and now I can uh, shut this thing off with you and do what I normally do in the lounge and watch porn. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Right. Thanks, Brad. All right. <laughs> See you, Brad. Brad. Safe travels. Oh, God, he's so funny. <laughs> Good um, man. Good man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Great guy. Um, now, we have uh, Christy Lee at the news desk. We really haven't touched on the news much, have we? Um, we've had three or four stories. Did you catch that, though? The the mascot of the Broncos is, it's, it's a pony. Of Miles. It's a, Miles for Mile High. High City. Of Mile High City. Oh. Oh. And they want uh, Brad to be a mini Miles. <laughs> so he'd be like, yeah. Yeah. There'll be feet. <laughs> yeah. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Or maybe one leg. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> Christy. <laughs> Authorities are fire uh, fighting people for littering if they're caught urinating in the countryside. Oh. Wait, fining or fighting? Fining. <laughs> the Guardian reports that there have been at least two cases of men receiving fines in Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire? Yeah, somewhere in England. After being caught in the act by enforcers apparently lying in wait on roadside. Oh, they're <laughs> they're <laughs> lying in wait, all right. If you're a guy or a gal laying there waiting to watch a guy urinate, something's wrong. Right? They were doing that at certain outdoor music venues. They, did, they didn't have adequate toilet facilities. Oh, you got caught doing that. Uh, I, it was a yeah. long story. But Mr. Michael Mason, who claims to have a weakened <laughs> prostate. You was... were peeing outside? And you got caught? At a concert? Uh, in my case, it was... Uh, um, Tom. What's the place called? Poplar Creek? Somewhere in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there, it was a totally inadequate facility, and there was like a two-mile-long line to get in, and they were they were actually arresting people getting out of their cars to pee. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Don't you have anything better to do? So you got caught up in it then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did not get arrested, but we were we got the warning, and then they 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 impounded the car. It was a complete joke. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Mr. Michael Mason claims to have a weakened prostate and was handed a fine after he stopped on the A41 near Kings Langley to take what he described as a discreet wee. 
Another man who had asked not to be named was caught out in similar circumstances Please at a roadside in the area. In both cases, the men were stopped by an employee of district enforcement, a private company contracted by Der- uh, Dockerum Council to issue penalty fines in their it's county. Ridiculous. When I got caught, it was in Wisconsin, and I told the cop, look, I just got stung by a jellyfish. <laughs> so I, yeah. <laughs> you're trying to, so I was beating uh, on my go. leg. Yeah. Um, you know, actually it was in the winter and I, uh, was writing my name in the snow and oh. I, I got nailed for graffiti charges also. It was terrible. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that, this is ridiculous. They, 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 and they, in some cases they, they would, they would charge people with indecent exposure. And yeah. that stays on your, doesn't it stay yeah, on your record yeah, for yeah, a while? Uh, the, the police need better things to do. Um, Valentine's Day just around the corner. We've talked about some unusual gifts this year. An animal shelter in New Jersey will name a feral cat after your ex and then neuter it. Mm. The Homeward Bound Pet Adoption Center in Camden County is offering the neuter your ex promotion for V-Day, <laughs> Valentine's Day. Wow. In exchange for a $50 donation, a shelter will name a feral cat after a former flame before the feline gets spayed or neutered and released back it's into the It's a decent program. Water. Yeah, it's a great program. For a thousand, they'll actually do your ex. Whoa! Whoa. What? Yeah. They'll neuter them for you? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to take those, sir. Huh? <laughs> How long do you think you could operate like that doing something? I bet you could make, if you were, you'd have more customers than you could. Uh, it, it, Get neutered for a thousand dollars? Absolutely. People would love to. Ladies, are you mad at an ex? <laughs> oh, there's the question. Which which way do you think it would go? Guys wanting to neuter women or the other way around? Other way around. I think it would be women wanting to castrate yeah. guys. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, there's a difference between castration and neutering. Well, I know, but for but, an extra 1500 yeah, we'll they, castrate they, they, Yeah, they right? want the castration, yeah. Okay. Do you have a song, Pat? Sure. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cat on Valentine's Day. Ooh, 50 bucks and we'll give it your ex's name. Ooh, the procedure is quick and guaranteed. Some things shouldn't breed. Straight cat slut talking about the cat. I can't get taken to court for that. Might get the book. From a mean old judge, unless he's been divorced too and carries a grudge. Oh, thank yeah. you very much. A little tribute to the Stray Cats and uh, Brian, Setzer. Brian Setzer. One of the nicest guys, by the way, in the world of rock and roll. Mm-hmm. And what a super talented. But if you ever get a chance to go see uh, Brian or Bloody the uh, Stray Cats at one like of their he. reunions, go see them. Oof. They're the best. Uh, now, uh, coming up, Christy Lee. Do we have our history lesson? Oh, or are we, we, gonna, we have yes. a history lesson. We, we, we've got a bunch believe. of news we got to catch up on. Yeah. Uh, uh, we never got to our Wizard of Oz story. We can do that real quick. Okay, what do you got? Uh, the man who confessed to stealing a pair of ruby slippers that Judy Garland wore in the Wizard of Oz will not go to prison. Mr. Terry John Martin. <laughs> no matter how hard he begged. <laughs> yeah. oh. Mr. T- okay. Well, wait till you see. It's, it's not, <laughs> not what you're that. thinking. Mr. Terry John Martin stole the slippers from the Judy Garland Museum back in 2005 after an old associate with connections to the mob told him the ruby slippers were adorned with real jewels and persuaded him to pull off one last score. A fence later told him the rubies were not real. The FBI recovered the shoes in 2018, though the 76-year-old was not charged until last year. He pleaded guilty in theft of a major artwork, U.S. District Judge Patrick Schlitz accepted the recommendation that he sentenced Martin to time served as he is housebound in hospice care. But he agreed that Martin should pay $23,500 in restitution to the museum. Yes, yeah, this poor guy. Yeah, there's no in, reason to put yeah, him in jail then. Yeah, and, and, there's no, no place like retirement home. <laughs> well, there's no place like home detention, I think. Is, uh, yeah, this guy is, he. Well, apparently, had it was, it was a lifelong criminal, and someone mm-hmm. convinced him that the ruby slippers were made with real rubies. Yeah. I've never seen them. It's so obvious they're not. <laughs> no. They look hideous. You have, to wonder, you, have yeah. to, you have to wonder if the guy that put them up for this was just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, yeah, he's not going to be with us too much longer, so it's kind of... That's sad. Yeah. Oh, jeez. 
Yeah. What are you talking story? about? No, Good you're, riddance to this. We're song. not in hospice anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll miss you most of all, breathing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, it's our fault. Um, yeah, well... Um, <laughs> now, the slippers were still missing, though, for quite a few years. Yeah. They don't know where they were or who had them. Yeah, they're like 13 years or something. They were... So, anyway, um, <laughs> I wouldn't put a black light on them. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, no, no. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Chick McGee? <laughs> yes, sir. If you want to listen to the show, what's the best way to do it? Raycon. Everyday earbuds, and they have all sorts of electronic products at Raycon. Uh, the Bob and Tom Show knows that... Audio accompaniment on when you go out, you want speakers to go with you. And Raycon has uh, freestanding speakers and earbuds. They've got it all. Everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever with the optimized gel tips that fit every ear ever made. And Raycons give you eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life. And Raycon's priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. No wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have tens of thousands of five-star reviews. And don't forget about the awesome features like customizable sound profiles and their awareness modes. Raycon has it all. All you have to do is go to buyraycon.com slash Tom and get 15% off your Raycon order. It's just that simple. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. You score 15% off Raycon products. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Uh, coming up, a special little tribute during Today in History. Oh, really? Which I think you'll enjoy. Yeah, oh. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you on our YouTube channel. Watch and subscribe. Donnie Baker. Guess what? I saved up some money and bought this new badass spy camera. I swear to God I did. Check this thing out. Oh, this is the green room they talk about. Hey, look, it's early man with a coke habit. This is badass. Oh, I swear to God. A real microwave? Who else is craving pizza rolls? Oh my God, and here's a snack table. Snickers peanut butter, that's got all four food groups. Plus it's squared. Eureka, Mountain Dew from both the Northern and Southern states. Oh, this has real sugar. Oh, that's gonna help my metabolism. I'm loading these down. That's the great thing about Zubaz. It's like a kangaroo. I got a pouch on both Hi, sides. Honey. There's a. Oh, I haven't huh? seen you forever. How huh. have you been? I'm good. Just Donnie, getting what the are you doing? free samples. Donnie, we've talked about this. I thought I told you there was one for you. We have so many people. Well, I've over. been calling nine 16 Donnie. times. Donnie, what are you going to talk about? Well, this? I, I, I'm I'm done. Done. <laughs> Ow! Oh, 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 damn! So I've had a pretty good adventure with this spy camera. Need to pinch the bridge for a second. I would highly recommend this spy camera. There's so much you can do and you'll never be caught. I swear to God, I'm Donnie Baker and I approve this message. Who are you? Stop spying on me. We already called the cops. You, you might want to get moving. You might be able to get out of here before they get here. And this is a DNA sample. I gotta go.
did my first luau, which was cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. You know, they burnt the pig for us and everything. It was fantastic to see a pig come out of the ground, and we just ate on pig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was kind of weird looking at him with his nose sticking out at you, but, you know, he was still delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I just ate from behind. You know, that's what I did. Yeah, no, uh, no pig face. Yeah. Right, you no. Know, no, you don't want no pig face. To, but my cousin, them eat pig snoot in St. Louis, which is crazy. They eat the snoot. The no snoot. way. Yeah. They do, really? Heck yeah, they put barbecue sauce on it and eat it. They eat the feet. Mm. Some black yeah, you will not lead us astray, I guarantee. Because I hate restaurants that have those, you know, named best barbecue ever, you mm -hmm. know. And then you go in, it's a more burnt barbecue, and, mm -hmm. and it don't taste good. I mean, they only have what you want because, you know, I'm from St. Louis. We eat rib tips, you know. Mm -hmm. And rib tips is like the top part of the rib. Man, and you cut delicious. it in, listen, oh, my oh. good Lord. Oh. <laughs> mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lavelle Crawford. Uh -huh. Lavelle rib Crawford tips. is our guest. And so far, we've had a tour of Hawaii. We have yet to see anything except for a pig nose. Well, mm -hmm. well, well you know, I won a luau. I won a. Lu I won the uh, hula dance competition. You did. Know? Yeah. Wow. Uh, you yeah. can move it, huh? One thing I know about paradise for black folks is just it's something black people want to do that we see white folks do that we shouldn't do. Like, you know, going to Catamaran, that's just like being out on a raft with a motor. Mm. It ain't safe. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my wife went, let's get out on the Catamaran. I said, have you ever seen a Catamaran? You don't even know what it is. You're from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know nothing about no Catamaran. Uh -huh. and, you, and then she can't swim. She ain't never been to a YMCA learning how to float or nothing, but she want to go out in the middle of the ocean. Wow. <laughs> See, I learned my lesson with that jet ski. They flying around on that jet ski, jumping up on the water, and I realized that water's hard as hell. You know, <laughs> it is. Because every time you hit a wave, man, my junk was hitting me in the chin. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, wow. <laughs> so, so I, I know what water, you know, it's dangerous out there. Mm -hmm. And then my jet ski conked out on me, so I'm sitting down in the middle of the ocean there to Told me in, you know, I, and I fell off the jet ski. I couldn't leapfrog back on it. No. So, no, I couldn't do it. I, my blood sugar got low. I just had to lay out there and they had to tow me in. I'm looking like the Loch Ness Negro trying to come back in. <laughs> People t taking pictures. What they catch? What you know, is that? You know, <laughs> I think it's a killer whale. Oh, so, my. So, so, Was that your surfer voice? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> 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 hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. If you're not, you're a communist. This magician's on stage, and he invites this guy from the audience to give him a sledgehammer. The magician says, I want you to hit me in the temple as hard as you can with a sledgehammer. <laughs> the guy goes, all right. So the magician lays his head down on his block of wood, and this guy hauls back. Bam! Pops this guy in the temple. Ten years later, the magician wakes up out of a coma in the hospital and goes, Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> You're so weird. You have no idea. Essential Morning Radio. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. Day night. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. You know what time it is? What time is it? Let's check in with Christy Lee and see how her day is going. We're here at the oh. end of a semi-end of a show. How yeah, are you feeling? it's been a great day. Hasn't it, though? Pat did a song from oh. one of my favorites, The Stray Cats. Yeah. He did a little cute mock version of Stray Cats' strut. I almost said slut. <laughs> well, that, that was Pat's song. Well, yes. you blew it. I know. Sorry. Well, uh, now, yeah. um, I thought we would uh, maybe uh, perhaps uh, cheer you up a little bit. Oh. By featuring some, we mentioned the, the the great band, the Stray Cats. Uh -huh. Brian Setzer has been a frequent guest on the show, oh, and uh, he's uh, certainly a nice guy, super mm -hmm. talented. And uh, well, I thought we have kind of a tribute uh, to uh, you and to uh, Mr. Mr. Setzer. <gasps> Time now for the guy who'd rather play guitar than have sex. <laughs> Brian, honey, put that guitar down and come to bed, baby. Yeah, in a minute, sweetie. I'm working on this great lick. Mm, that's exactly what I'm wanting you to work on in here. <laughs> no, man, the sound is awesome in here. 
sucks in the bedroom. You don't like sucky sounds, eh? Well, I think I can make a sucky sound you're going to love. Come here. I've got a surprise for you. Oh, yeah? You got an old tweed Fender basement amp in there or something? <laughs> an amp? No, I'm not talking about some stupid amp. It's not stupid, baby. It's all about the vacuum tubes, you know. All right, you bring your tube in here, and I'll do my impression of a vacuum cleaner for you. Sure, sure. In a minute, I think I'm going to change my G-string first. <laughs> well, what a coincidence. I just happen to be wearing a G-string. Here, let me take it off and give it to you. Huh? Well, like what you see? No, 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 no. This, this won't work, man. I use 10-gauge string. What is this? This is like silk or satin or something. <laughs> I can't get any decent tone out of that. All right. Let me put this in terms you'll understand. You need to turn the amp off and turn me on right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stay on standby for a little bit while I work on my solo. Fine. Better get used to going solo because I'm leaving. Have fun with that big chunk of wood in your hands. <laughs> this isn't a chunk of wood. This is a hollow body Gretsch, baby. It's got F holes. See? Better change that F hole to an A hole. Ooh, change the F to an A? Great idea. I can move this cord. To the this has been the guy who'd rather play guitar than have sex. Ah, oh, yes. Yay. My favorite bit of all time. All you guitar players out there, a lot of nice references in there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Time now for Today in History, January 30. Almost done with January, Tom. Uh, born on this date, 1880, 82. Wow, 1882, uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Oh. D stands for DeLorean. Hmm. Yes. Uh, wrong. Yes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> one of my favorites, 1930, the birthday of Gene Hackman, the great actor, portrayed Lex Luthor. Mm -hmm. Had to be talked into uh, acting by his good friend, Warren Beatty. Really? Didn't want anything to do with it. Huh. And Warren said, no, no, you can do this. And, and then, boy, could he. And then Bonnie and Clyde came along, and there you go. Um, let's see. Happy birthday, Steve Marriott. Oh, sorry. He's not with us. Steve Marriott, the great uh, guitarist, singer, and songwriter. Hotel Baron. Humble yeah. Pie. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we go home on Monday, but I gotta tell you, it's been a gas. gas. Man, it's really been a gas. Mm, sorry. Uh, he don't need no doctor be, being deceased. Uh, let's see. Happy birthday, 1951. Phil Collins. Uh, Su-Su, su, 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 su Don't mention his one awful song. I like uh, su uh, Nothing wrong with that one. Yeah. Yes, there is. Oh. Uh, I, I, <laughs> argument uh, one. Whoa. <laughs> argument I, I guess I hadn't looked at it that way. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, here we go. Um, this is a quiz a question for Josh. Yeah. Um, Around the World in 80 Days published where in 1873, and the author was... Published where? I mean, it was Jules Verne. Uh, I'm going to say published in uh, England? France. Ah. So close. Uh, yeah. So no, I... A tunnel away. No reason. Yes, yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> uh, what about the movie? We always do the movie. Who was in the movie? Yeah. You got out nominated for an Academy Award. The man's name was Contenfloss. Yes. Yeah. Boy, it's hard to pronounce that. <laughs> yeah. That's true. He was it's like a, he's like the Madonna of comedians in Spain. Um, yeah, let's see. Right. Um, uh, oh, here we go. 1956, Elvis recorded Blue Suede's Shoes. I, mean, I believe he didn't want anyone to step on them. Oh, that's, right. that, 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 that is that was the gist of that. Yeah. And then this is important. <laughs> on this date in 1969, the Beatles performed their final concert on the roof of uh, the uh, Apple Corps in uh, London. Gimmicky. Oh, it's great. Cash grab. It's super good. People, can you imagine you're walking down the street? Oh, my God. What's, what, yeah, what's that I can't see going? anything oh, yeah. that's going on. Yeah, I know. They can hear Unless them. I, if I were 30 feet tall, I could see it. Mm. They have the greatest band of all time. Uh, what did we learn on today's show? Time now for Things We Learned, brought to you by the new Hyundai Tucson, available with complimentary oh. class-leading Blue Link Plus. Yeah, that's one of those. Now it's easy to use your phone to control... Your Tucson. I do that every day. Be just like Christy Lee <laughs> and drive that Tucson everywhere you go. I love my Tucson. Uh, American Airlines flights, Kansas City to Las Vegas of Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, and Patrick Mahomes flight numbers. They've all been changed. A big Super Bowl. And, uh, Pat Godwin's Italian friend had a shrinking moon song today. I played with the accordion. 85th anniversary of the Wizard of Oz. I was a full grown man. Or as Tom would say, a grown ass man when I realized the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, and the Lion. 
all worked on the farm. Not to mention the, the teacher and the wizard. It was also the traveling salesman. And <laughs> I had no idea. Uh, Tom loves the term cat house. Cat did enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not used enough these days, he Yeah, says. it's got kind of an old world ha good. happy feel to it. Yes. And, House um, of Prostitution sounds like a prison. In, in a way, it is. But, oh, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Man. Amelia Earhart. <laughs> uh, yeah, people are having fun oh. at a cat house. House of Prostitution. Ugh. Amelia Earhart lied about her weight. That's what's caused her crash. She was 250 pounds. Yeah, tried right. To. Uh, but I, you know what I love about that story? If, if you've seen the, the, what is it, the sonar, the yes. photograph they've yeah, produced? The pile of rocks, huh? It, it looks, looks just like a plane. And it, but you believe in Bigfoot, and they can't get a decent picture of Bigfoot when every man and woman in the world is carrying a great camera with them. What does that mean? A blurry shot of uh, some big, guy in a suit. Bigfoot's buy running, running away. This, pl this this mound of rocks is just sitting there. They should be able to get a clear photo of it. It's the plane. We're going to find out. Thank you very much. All right. uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.